Hello, Internet, and uh, welcome to Wonder World. Thank you for joining us tonight. Um, as you can see, we've got a uh, small crew here this evening. Ryan will be joining us soon, uh, so I'm going to stall until he arrives. Um, we've got a lot of stuff going on right now that actually it announced. It's not really even stalling. I just have a lot to get through, and it's probably going to take me a bit. So buckle your seatbelts. Um, first and foremost, we have our newest show, uh, Lords of Misrule taking the place of survivors complex this saturday and for the foreseeable saturday future um that is going to be at three o'clock eastern time this weekend and uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun it's going to be sort of a gritty anti-hero uh D, D set in a 1920s 20s-esque city it's gonna be a, i mean it, it's gonna be unlike anything that I would imagine that you have seen um, on this channel specifically. Uh, but there are going to be a lot of familiar faces there. The three of us are playing in it. And uh, you can check out a little bit of, or get a little bit of a taste of the game by hopping on over to our Twitter, where there he is, uh, hopping over to our Twitter, where we have our teaser trailer that is posted there for uh for your enjoyment uh put together by our very own morgan or mojo or mojo draws um a lot of talent there uh but yeah so that that's up right now check that out three o'clock saturday two days from today uh next we have our website in case you forgot about it. it's been a while since i mentioned it um but if you haven't checked it out the website is tagged or uh, posted on our twitter page that's uh ggk.smvi.co um and that has a link to pretty much everything we do it goes over all the shows that we have uh all the time slots and you can click on those shows they'll take you to our twitch page or our youtube so you can catch up on everything you've missed so far um we also just in the past few days launched our facebook page uh, so if you are following us here and on youtube and over on uh, twitter head over to facebook and search for game nights and uh which i assume is facebook.com forward slash game nights i don't know if it's i'm simple, posting right? all these links in the chat sure yes, the link facebook.com slash good game nights yeah Follow the link in the chat. I, I would have the chat up, but it's too distracting. Um, and mostly because of all the links I'm posting. <laughs> yeah, you can follow us somewhere else too. If you if you prefer Facebook over Twitter, I don't know what's wrong with you, but you can choose to. I'm just kidding. You can use whatever you want. Facebook. But. It's not your grandmother's social net. Well, it kind of is actually. <laughs> it is your grandmother's social network. Tell your grandma to like us on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your grandma might really like uh, any of our of our lineup. I'm, I know that your grandmother loves this lineup, so <laughs> pass it along. Yes. Uh, Ryan and coming in strong tonight. Um, <laughs> I've, had, I've had an evening. <laughs> um, and then the last announcement I have is, as you can probably see looking at our faces or just under our faces right now, uh, we have our new overlay surrounding us, highlighting us, uh, making us look hideous by comparison. Uh, you can see the wonderful overlay put together by, once again, Morgan, um, and featuring the art that uh, we commissioned from Callie, uh, whose Twitter handle will be posted in the chat as well, um, who uh, did the commission for us and did a fantastic job. Uh, we love their art. And if you love it too, go over to their Twitter and uh, check out their stuff. And you can too own some uh, one-of-a-kind Callie artwork. Um, I think that's it as far as announcements go. Um, yeah. I'm good. Anybody else? Anything I'm fit missed? No. No, 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 no. It's just my birthday. <laughs> oh. Well. That's my announcement. Let's all sing the Lindsay. Please don't. It's fine. Do we have the rights to this? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> the let's delay sing. would be. Let's sing in monotone too. <laughs> let's just all say Lindsay's name in a really oh, don't uh, do that. drawn out way. <laughs> I'll... Oh, no. <laughs> Heavy. <laughs> birthday <laughs> but happy birthday Lindsay, and we are happy to have you here uh on your first happy trip. to be here sean yes thank you 
Uh, I'm sorry I missed that. A lot of, a lot of stuff going on. Um, I I won't hurt your character too much today. How about that? I just got born. <laughs> Made rusty. All right. Uh, so I'm I'm done stalling. We'll go ahead and jump right in to uh, tonight's session of Wonderworld Origins. Cue music change. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's actually not the music I want, but I kind of wanted to go in that bit. I like it as the title sequence. I'm just going to imagine that in my head for a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. But what I'm actually going to go into is this one here. Take it, take it, take it. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, we come in to, uh, once again, the familiar face, uh, shining uh, white teeth and perfect quaffed hair of uh, Carmen Dakota as she stands with Mike in hand uh, in front of a uh, scene that, by contrast, is... Uh, a bit bleak. The destructive uh, or the the destruction wrought uh, by the the terrible T Rex uh, in the session prior. Uh, I just sorry. Go ahead. No, you you've done this. You've done I know. This. I it, I it, I've never had someone have to deal with the stuff that I do before. <laughs> so it's going to be fun. There's All a lot right. of guilt I feel right now. <laughs> <laughs> but as she, as she stands there, um, her, her smile becomes a more, a more somber expression um, as she begins her broadcast. It's been one week since tragedy struck downtown Beacon City and the boroughs are still reeling from the devastation. 28 remain in intensive care and the death toll holds at five. A candlelight vigil is scheduled for tonight at 7 at the fountains outside the courthouse, where the mayor will address these recent attacks. Many questions are still left unanswered, foremost being the involvement of the young masked figures in these terrifying events. When asked, Detective Michaels had these statements to make. There's a cut to uh, the detective being swarmed by reporters as he exits the BCPD station. We aren't at liberty to discuss the pending investigation, but we can assure the people of Beacon City that these vigilantines, as we refer to them in the task force, are the department's top priority. No expense is being spared in the apprehension uh, of these figures. Thank you. Uh, and he continues storming off through the crowd. Cuts back to Carmen. It remains unclear what involvement these vigilantines had in the latest attack as many eyewitnesses have confirmed <laughs> damn, everyone's laughing and I can't keep a straight face have confirmed they were seen attempting to stop the creature which demolished much of the historic borough's neighborhood whether they fight to protect us or not this reporter merely hopes that the worst of this destruction is behind us and as she finishes uh, those words, there is a word, uh, a sort of a neon green word, mute, that goes out and kind of uh, cuts over the broadcast. And we pan back to see a flat screen TV uh, that is currently mounted on the wall of a quaint um, living room. And we pan towards the kitchen where we smell the uh, the frying of eggs and bacon and other breakfast essentials in the morning uh, as we see the Dayton family kitchen where Olivia is sitting at the counter as uh, a man, uh, Dr. Alan Dayton, her father, uh, is currently cooking breakfast. And uh, he puts down the remote and turns back towards the food and says, uh, that's enough of that. Uh, how do you want your eggs, Olivia? Uh, over easy. All right. Yes. So what are your plans for today? Probably go to school unless it's the weekend. But I don't know what day it is. <laughs> um, I'll give a little bit of context. Um, <laughs> Whatever is school, appropriate for it is currently It is currently a Wednesday. However, school uh, has been out of session or has been um, canceled this week, given the events uh, downtown. Party. Beach day. Two. Yeah. Thousand fifty. Um, <laughs> five dead. Yeah. 
Not us. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, was it us? Are we dead now? Is this purgatory? <laughs> it was a dream the whole time. Oh, God. Um, I don't know. I mean, my schedule is all kind of thrown off because I was supposed to have two tests this week, and I don't really know if I should still be studying for them. Uh, you, you probably studied enough as he comes over and gives you your breakfast and says, you should take it easy. Go hang with your friends. Get outside the house. You've been cooped up here enough. That'd probably be good. Um, he turns and looks at the clock, says, crap, uh, I'm going to be late. Uh, and he um, begins to kind of frantically go up and clean up some of the pots and pans around the kitchen. He says, man, work's been a mess. Dad, I can clean that up. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I know how to do dishes. All right. I, all right. Well, I'll, I guess I forget you're almost graduated now. Uh, yeah, if you can take care of the kitchen, uh, that'd be great. I've just, it's been such a mess since, uh, well, you heard about, I told you what happened with uh, Dr. Ian, right? Yeah. Tragic. Yeah. Well, we're still trying to sort out the mess he left behind. So uh, I'm going to, got to get over there and start going through that. You need anything before I go? I don't think so. Um, All right, well, did you pack your lunch? Yeah, yeah. Well, mittens. <laughs> uh, he kind of looks around Gosh. a bit. He's like, "Oh, there it is!" And he uh, grabs a, a lunch bag off the counter. He says, "Got all right here." Um, just text me if you need anything. When I'm on my way home, I'll I'll, I'll see if I can. I'm gonna run by the grocery and grocer and. Uh, pick up a few things so just let me know I, I, I'll be probably be a little bit late tonight um, but okay. just be careful if you go out and uh, try I'll to stay away from where. the burrows okay oh why would I go there anyway alright he walks over and he uh, gives you a kiss on the forehead uh, sort of pats your shoulder a bit He's, uh, as he grabs his white lab coat off the uh, counter and uh, or off the uh, chair next to you and slings it over his shoulder you can see the green and purple insignia on the arm for uh, helix corp and he uh, begins walking towards the door and sort of stops for a moment and pats his pockets he says keys crap uh and he looks around for a bit uh before running over to the couch and grabbing the keys off the back of it and i specifically it like put hooks up by the door for you to put your keys on I'll, I'll, yeah, I, I, I'll do that. I'm thank, thank you. Remind me, sweetie. Why am I doing all these DIY projects for you if you're not going to use them, Dad? Uh. All right, all right. I'll see you later. Um, and he uh, walks out the door and, and love you, bye. It. Love you, and he closes it behind him and leaves. Gross. Uh, just at that time, you <laughs> get a uh, your phone buzzes on the counter, which I should have had a sound effect for. But that's fine. I was good. Bzz, bzz. That's the sound of a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> Helicoptering down. Uh, and you see a group text from Rose that is to uh, you and Lucas um, that says uh, in in cryptic sort of syllables and, and you have to sort of uh, work out the shorthand of most of it, but it just says meet at sanctuary question mark I'll text back nothing better to do what's it like when Lucas texts oh are you asking me or asking, asking like you. no I'm asking you what, I'm what asking, is it like when I text what, what is it what, what how does Lucas text is he test in shorthand is it, I, I'm, I'm just this curious this this is something I, I feel like I want the answer to is it like overly like just just too much verbiage and and just just like paragraphs and paragraphs of, t uh, of text or I think I think in this modern era new no. I think it is um almost 100% emojis and gifs like it's so like how Ryan talks online. Uh, essentially, yeah, it it, it is, uh, it is essentially modern hieroglyphics is the way he communicates, because I think that's what he thinks that that's how that's how that's what you do. Okay. And, he, and I think he does it a little bit, like whatever in your head you imagine like like a twelve year old would do in this situation, probably just like thirty three percent above that to where it's like. It, 
like it's like super obnoxious. <laughs> okay, I figured he overcompensated somehow, but I just wanted to. Yes. Oh, to absolutely. Lots of lots of gifts. I was worried it was going to be like how your dad texts in real life, which is just essentially like an email. <laughs> yeah. And then he signs every text. Love dad. <laughs> Yeah, that's what my dad does. But yeah, um, okay. So also, also, uh, um, uh, uh, memes that don't quite fit. Just like, <laughs> like, so, like, uh, so uh, I don't know. Whatever the nature of the thing is, like, if someone's like just checking in, and it's like, is this a text? Like, and it's just like, <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, Lucas, it is. I could not love Lucas more. Than <laughs> I already do. I thought, but I do. <laughs> okay. Uh, I assume you confirm uh, going to the sanctuary too, and in, in weird. So unless Lucas has, I would like better. to know what you sent to us. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like I'm trying to think of a real thing. Uh, I I think I think what it is. It what are you? You, you know, like computer kid. He's like. Like that, that computer kid thing. Yeah. I think it's like that, but it's like the one where it's like solid snake <laughs> instead. So it's like just not really appropriate, but just like, <laughs> you know. All right. All right. Who takes uh, him back? Lucas, is that your dad? <laughs> oh, man. Um, there's like the you know, ellipsis. Yes, with a question mark. <laughs> um, because I don't think he has a fake dad, unless he's like Invader Zim or something that has like some like robot parents. I wasn't gonna get into Lucas's family this episode. I uh, haven't thought can about we? that. <laughs> kind of want to, but we let's do that later. Because like I want it. I don't want to just rip off Invader Zim, but like. <laughs> I, I, it's going to take me a while to get that out of my head. Okay. <laughs> like, we, I'm can, just uh, like... we can pan back later in the, or at the end of the session to where, <laughs> where Lucas goes home to. Um, sure. You have some time to think about that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, everyone confirms and uh, there is a, uh, a text back from Rose that just says GR8, uh, number eight. Uh, and <laughs> There's going to be a solid snake hologram or robot back at my house. <laughs> just like sit, sitting on the couch or something like that. I don't know. It's going to be... He frantically put throw, cobbles together this android. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Continue. No, it's fine. This is exactly what I wanted. Um, so, Olivia, you clean up the kitchen uh, and... By clean up the kitchen, I mean I put everything in the dishwasher. Okay. Not a complicated process, Dad. <laughs> okay, you uh, you put everything in the dishwasher and get ready, dressed. I mean, I don't know what you need to do to get ready to go. If there's anything specific we need to go go through, or you just leave. I um, probably no, I wouldn't do that this morning. I was gonna say I need to deal with my hair situation, um, but probably did that. It's been Last a few night, days. So yeah, it's it's been four or five days. Yeah. Right. So then I'll just get ready, which probably takes like an hour and a half. All right. Okay. So before so that, I did the dishes and then and straightened everything up and fed the okay. cat, which I invented that I have now. Sounds good. My name is Mittens. Uh, mittens. I'll make a note of that. No, I won't. Um, <laughs> I won't either. I'll remember. Don't worry. There's this Triskelion tattoo on Mitten's paw. <laughs> <laughs> the mastermind uh, behind it all. <laughs> Ryan's going to make something out of Mitten's later on. Just oh, you wait. know I will. All right. So you leave the house, locking it behind you. Where, where does uh, Olivia live? Or what, what does your neighborhood look like? Super you, nice. Because your dad's like a pretty super rich, affluent scientist. Okay, yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. I know. I think it's. I think it's a a nicer part of town. I think it's a nice neighborhood. I think it's probably a lot of like gated communities and houses with pools and uh, what is it they call them here? Not patios. Lanai's. Yeah. Um. That's what they, that's what they call them in Florida, I guess. Um. 
and the stuff, nice. stuff like that. Beacon City, two hours from Miami, one hour from Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's a beach. I don't know. Yeah, no, I, I imagine it's it's a lot of like like gated communities and people like people with gates at the end of their driveways and pools just, and just uh, things that I based economy things that <laughs> I imagine things I imagine rich people have, which is really just a lot of gates and pools. Baby gates, dog gates, yeah. Bill gates, lots of gates. <laughs> pretty much gate depot put the small <laughs> gate depot. out of uh, out of business pretty quickly around yes. here <laughs> yeah i computers. imagine there's i imagine there's like a like a code to get in and okay they probably have like security cameras on their house and stuff so uh how how do you make it to i guess I, without getting too much into it your transportation so are you just walking to school or you do you super no. run do you Ew. ride a bike do you take an Uber? I drive my car, probably. Uh, okay. You, you have, a have a car? I didn't know you had a car. I do now. My dad's rich. Wow. Fair. <laughs> is it a fair? Is it a Beamer? Porsche? Volvo? I don't know a lot Audi. about cars. Isn't it an Xterra? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say, it's I mean, a, is it a it's nice a Tesla. car? It's a Tesla. Yeah. It's a okay. fairly nice car. I feel like it's it's like a Volvo. not not like spoiled rich kid car, but car is it that a, was like like a relatively a, safe car. Like a sedan or is it a sedan or an SUV or? It's probably no. It's probably a sedan. It was probably something. I don't. I don't know anything about cars. Uh, it's a Nissan Murano. There we go. I don't know what that is. It's like the car we have, except a little bigger. Which, which one? It's a little bigger than the Nissan Rogue. Oh. Now the internet knows what car we have. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Uh-oh. And here's my address. <laughs> we have two cars. You'll never find us. All right. Um, so as you drive to school or as you drive to the campus, um, you get caught in a bit of traffic on the way there. Uh, typical early morning commute. Um and uh, as you do, you, you're heading under the freeway. And as you're going under the, the overpass, uh, you come to a stop for a second and you, you, you look around just as people do and you see some of the graffiti on the walls. Uh, and you notice one thing, uh, it sort of catches your attention. Most of the graffiti here is painted over and they do a really good job trying to keep it clean around here as uh, this is a more uh, up and coming neighborhood. Uh, but there is a section of the wall that has what you think is graffiti at first, but is actually sort of intricate uh, vines and flowers sort of grown into a shape um, that's this cursive uh, kind of uh, flowery, no pun intended, writing um, that says Raffle Stomp Squad. Nice. Can I take a picture of it? Okay, click a picture of it. Uh, traffic gets moving and you keep going uh, eventually making it to the school which is understandably vacated at this point uh, there is maybe one or two cars in the parking lot students that are using the track and field or the, the track uh, to, to uh, work out or uh, teachers that are still doing some uh, work around the school and while they have the quiet um, so you park and head over to the sanctuary uh, heading through your secret entrance uh, and uh, down into the uh, the former boiler room, uh, you hear some chatter and some noise coming from inside, some music playing. And as you enter, you see uh, Rose and Lucas already there waiting for you. Uh, Rose is sort of slouched on the one of the armchairs, uh, feet up on the table, playing probably the equivalent of whatever Nintendo handheld device that exists now, the Nintendo 24 D 60. Um, and the, uh, and then Lucas is, I don't know. The Nintendo whoops. <laughs> I like that. Um, and then Lucas says, I don't know. <laughs> we don't either. Hello. Hello. But, Took you long enough. Traffic. Oh. It wasn't too bad. Hey, check this out. I'm going to show them the picture. 
of the flower thingy. Uh, you see, you or Lucas, you see the thing, and I think Rose takes a look at it and, and says, "That is very beautiful." Yeah. What did your your gardener do that for you or something? No, I saw it as I was driving in. Also, we don't have a gardener; we just have a groundskeeper. <laughs> That's disgusting. Why is this the? Why is it disgusting? It's too much to explain, Lucas. Uh, Rose has can... jealousy problems, but isn't this cool, though? I saw it as I was driving in. Well, that's weird. Um, so we have a stalker? Fan? Fan, probably. We should tweet it! How long would it take to make something like that? That's. We have a florist fan. I mean, that's way better than like a creepy stalker. What are they going to do? Throw flowers at us? That doesn't seem that bad. Hmm. I guess. We should tweet it and try to find them. Or at least to say, like, thank you for your support. Sure. Send me the picture. Is this a- Turn on your Bluetooth. <laughs> okay. So we got a new route, uh, so uh, we might have changed the password. So, uh... <laughs> Uh, sorry. Well, what's the password, Lucas? <clears throat> of course, I skipped in that one, didn't I? Well, the password is, of course, uh, um, no, <laughs> no, it's uh, right here, <laughs> and it's a, uh, it's a, it's a series of 11 emojis, which I think, <laughs> um, which will break most databases if you try to do a password like that, just so you know right now. But in the future, that's not the case. You can use a emoji to mess your password. So it is a, a series of 11 emoji faces. Emojis are part of the alphabet now. Uh, they are the actually, <laughs> <laughs> the alphabet has grown to uh, 213 <laughs> characters. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you, you uh, Rose tweets the the picture and says, "All right. Well, I'm I'm just really antsy to do something. We've been we've been keeping our heads low since the whole rar uh, thing." Yeah. Oh yes, the T Rex. Yeah, that. Uh, can we can we please do something, please? What do you want to do? I don't know, beat up bad guys or something. Well, I've been keeping my ears with these drones that, uh, that I assume I am, by the way, uh, that for the, uh, that the police have uh, wandering around the city and it doesn't seem to be any activity so far. Or um, I can double check. Tip, tip, tip. <laughs> okay, you look over the scanners. Um, and we'll just say, Unless you any other conversations that want to be have, you begin to turn on the scanners and, and wait for something to come up. Oh, uh, what do you guys think about this thing that the cops are calling us now? Vigilantines? What is that? I hadn't heard that yet. That's pretty good. It sounds like my dad made it up. I don't know. I still like Raffle Stomp Squad. I think it's very clever. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Whoever came up with it is, uh, <laughs> I don't know, quite a pretty cool person. I don't know, but uh, it's pretty funny. I mean, not everybody no. has that respect for like the dad kind of humor, but it takes a real like cleverness to come up with that stuff. So the news really seems to like it. Is all I'm saying. Yeah, well, maybe mean... we could maybe we could keep Raffle Stomp Squad, but then like in our tweets we could like. Hashtag vigilantes. Vigilantes. I, yeah. I could I could get that going. We could we could start a Twitter poll and uh, and see what people like better and uh, rebrand ourselves if necessary. Are people actually gonna vote on that? How I many mean, followers do we have on Twitter? Is that are we like a thing? I, I think last time I looked, we had just crested like I can't think of a reasonable number. Four hundred thousand. What? Yeah, still going pretty strong too. Um. So 
I, I'm sorry. I actually don't. Why is vigilante in school? I don't know this word. Do you, okay. How do we? Uh, what's it called? How do I explain? What are these called? Portmanteaus. First try. Um. It's when you take two words and you like smash them together to make a new. Oh, word like Ovaltine. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Um, so there's like vigilantes. You know what that is, right? Do they have those in Canada? Yes. Have you seen Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles ever? I, all the time in Canada. Yeah. The, what's his face? The hockey mask? Vigilante? Of all, yes, of, of all ages. I don't know why that's what I think of. And then teens, because we're teenagers, so teens, and so you smash them together. Yes. Because they that sound is, the same. That is what we are. We are teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> Vigilanteens. Canada must be so interesting. Huh. Okay. So it's like you just drop the word, the, the, the space between the two. Kind of. It's like the two words are hugging. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. I really didn't come here for an English lesson today. I mean, uh -huh. I thought they... I whispered to Rose. I mean, I thought they spoke English in Canada, but... He's trying. <laughs> we... We speak it, but uh, we don't understand it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so um. Sorry to our Canadian viewers. <laughs> okay. He's from New Canada. <laughs> yeah. Like, re really north. East. Canada expanded a lot in the last like hundred it years. It did. The ice came back, so <laughs> so there's more Canada than there was. <laughs> um, you know, Lucas, if you ever wanted to, we could just like I could just teleport us to wherever you're from. You just gotta show us a picture or something. We could kind of see what it's like for ourselves. Oh, that sounds like so nice. So, uh, wh what were you saying about this picture that we we're going to tweet out and let everyone know about it? Well, the, the flowers, I think we have, like, oh, yes, a flowers, cool fan, of yeah. Like, how yes, much time do you think it took them to do that? Like, that's amazing. Well, looking at the species, I, I, I don't know everything there is to know about botany, but I would imagine it, it probably took several weeks or so, um, which doesn't make a lot of sense, because I don't think that we had this name for several weeks. No, no, that, that was, like, a week ago. I don't know how they did it. They must be a quite a horror to culturalist. Are you trying to do portmanteaus? <laughs> I think so. I mean, that was one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> As this is happening. Great. Go, go <laughs> Happy Wednesday. Um, what are we what are we doing you guys there is some chatter that comes over the police uh scanner the uh the drones <laughs> and, uh, a lot of it's been kind of usual stuff that you've been hearing uh domestic disputes vandalism things like that nothing that really strikes your interest but you do get one interesting report uh comes in right at this moment to interrupt this conversation specifically uh, calling for all officers near uh, the Greenland Park uh, area to respond uh, and that a possible uh, super was sighted. Oh no. Is there any information on what kind of super this is? Or uh, what? why do they say this is a super? Uh, there isn't any other information like that in the uh, in the report right now. It's just been the radio mm, sort of click broadcast. enhance on the radio. <laughs> enhance. Zoom in on the license plate. <laughs> it gets very loud. Um, <laughs> <laughs> enhance. Ah! <laughs> um, but this isn't just, helping. <laughs> it's just asking for uh, essentially a, a APB and uh, to to keep an eye out, and then asking the. Uh, uh, the nearby officers to uh, mm. respond to a sighting at the uh, abandoned department okay. store that is located on that. 
Oh, no. There is a abandoned department, uh, department store, and uh, there's a sighting of a super. I don't know what of what sort or if they there are police being called to the scene, but I don't know if it's because they are doing something that is bad or, or maybe some sort of display of power or something. Well, they are kind of cracking down on people like us. We should check it out. Let's go. But Ready are we going to send out bucks. this tweet? <laughs> uh, so, priorities. Right. Did you put the hashtag? Yep. Prior tweets. Is that support mental? That's that's pretty good. That's good. All right. Let's hmm. suit up. I change, I guess. <laughs> uh, you don't have that's... a suit and you like wear a hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So everyone but waits while I change. <laughs> you want to try like, this game? And then just the, the music is like, and she's like, burner. If they look just over at any point, of a, I'm just, I'm just of a wrapper as we open up yeah. a candy bar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, 20 minutes some... later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <sighs> the helicopter. We follow this. <laughs> it's the noise. It's never steered us wrong before. <laughs> all right. So, you all uh, suit up, or one of you suits up, the other you get dressed, and you, uh, I think Rose probably teleports you all uh, close. Uh, or nearby the the uh, location that was mentioned on the police uh, correspondence, and you can hear the sounds of the uh, the sirens wailing in the distance of multiple police cars uh, that are located outside this uh, abandoned department store. You can see broken windows, and it's uh, this is an area of town that that sort of. Uh, fallen by the wayside in recent years, uh, but you can see there's probably about four police cars that are currently parked out in front of it, and uh, the police sort of uh, fanning out uh, in front of the store, a couple of them circling around behind. Um, but you don't see anything else going on from, from this vantage point. Hmm. Uh, what time of day is it? Morning? Uh, right now, uh, it took you an hour and so to get ready, so I'd say it's probably just around noon. Just around noon. Weather is clear and sunny. Uh, slightly overcast. Slightly overcast. Okay. So sneaking it might be a challenge without powers. Um, okay. Say, uh, I can I can get us inside if you want to just pop right in. I don't know what we're going to find in there. Uh, historically, that has not been a great great decision for us. Are there a lot of windows on this building? Yeah, there are There are a lot of windows. Most of them are broken um, and the ones that aren't broken are very dirty. Ugh. Um, I sniff the air. Okay. Mm, you... Does it smell like a city? <laughs> <laughs> yes okay i mean you're you're on the outskirts of the city okay. so you're kind of between that okay so does it smell like the outskirts of a city <laughs> <laughs> what or is there something you're looking for specifically um, no 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 i'm just like throwing something out seeing if anything sticks <laughs> let's well I guess my question is this is this is the worst perception check in the world. Um, yeah, no, 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 I mean we can make it work, and that's what I wanted to, to push at. Is are you? Is this just Lucas going smell what's going on, or I, is this I, like? I think, are well, you like I th changing your uh, anatomy to better smell? Um, I do. Uh, I could. I, I the way I've envisioned my head, like right currently where I'm at with my shape shifting, like. I could change into a dog, but I don't think that I actually inherit the abilities of the thing necessarily. Like, okay. and I could make it have a big nose, but doesn't I? Because I, I like to think that like 
Because it's still, I, it be, or the way I'm gonna imagine it, it's like I can like create all the cilia and all the different sensors like within the nose, but like my brain still has to process it mm -hmm. a certain way. So like that that end, um, that end user um, can't process the data even if I create the sensory input. So um, I'm gonna say that no, I can't. Okay. suddenly smell better. I'm just gonna have you assess the situation that I was trying to decide between that and uh, unleash your powers. So go ahead and uh, roll to assess the situation. And that is a... Uh, it's a roll plus superior. Oh, there it is. I'm blind. I'm not <laughs> literally, sorry. Um, 10, that is a 10. Oh, nice. Uh, so you get to ask uh, two of the questions and you get to take uh, plus one when acting on the answers. Okay, I can ask two questions. Uh, two of the questions that are on that list. Okay, I gotta look that up. Sorry. Oh, um, yeah, it's okay. Uh, it's at the top of the basic moves. Um, yeah. Hand out the. I, I see it. I see it. All right. Uh, what can I? What here can I use to blank? What here is the biggest threat? What here is the greatest danger? Who here is most vulnerable to me? What could we best? How best could we best in this swiftly, or quickly? Wow, just really just flipping out words. Okay, so um, I'm gonna say, what here can I use to uh, ingress our group um, secretively um, without alerting the attention of the police? And then I'm gonna also uh, say, um, Hmm, what? I'm gonna, yeah, what here is the biggest threat? No, I feel like that's the cops being noticed by the cops because I think everything that's is in there. So I'm gonna say, how could we best? I'm just gonna ask one question. I don't really okay. have another question. That's fine. I just, want, can, just that one. You can just, we can do the one for now. And if you have another one, you can ask it. Yeah. So what can I use to, uh, to ingress quickly? So I think uh, there- Unless Rose has already been inside a department store and she can teleport in there, or I don't know how her power set works. You would have to have some comprehension of what was inside. I mean, she now that she's seen the department store, she could probably try to get inside, but she'd have no idea where you guys were going into. And um, you would be going into a random area of the store. Um, could be good. So, or bad. So so maybe like the biggest thing is just getting eyes in the in the store. Would I like see if like maybe the cops have like any like drones or any like one of those like uh, those cameras that they slide under doors to get any vision? Yeah. Like is there like a signal that I can like hack into or something? So I'll give I'll give something that I think might um, might help. So there are, there are two things you notice. There are uh, there is currently one drone that has just come in. Uh, you imagine probably dispatched from central headquarters that is sort of circling around the building right now. Um, along with the police officers. Uh, the police are, again, sort of beginning to fan out. They're mostly staying towards the front of the building. A couple of them are going to make sure they're keeping eyes on the back. Uh, but there is a just about 20 yards off from the other side of the building that you guys are currently on. There is a billboard sign um, that is currently not on. Uh, and you imagine you could probably use that to make a pretty big distraction uh, that might give you guys the opening. Okay. Um, so, and, and when I say billboard, like future billboards are like big flat screen TVs. Like, I mean, just massive, but but currently inert and black and, and kind of cracked a little bit. Not not currently on. If you had managed to do something with that, you probably could make a big pump distraction. Okay. So, um, let's see. Uh, I think that I can probably give us a little bit of a uh, an opening if uh, you all will uh, permit me. <laughs> um using that billboard over there. Yeah, do it. All right, then I will use my alien tech and do not like like I did with the video camera, just try to like get into that billboard's circuitry somehow. Okay, so do you want uh, Rose to teleport you over there so you can be up closer there? Or do you have some way to do it from like a distance? Um, I can also like, I could probably like turn into a, ki a kitty cat and uh, yeah. run over there or a squirrel. Um, I think we'll do a kitty cat for now. Okay. Um, with um, night vision goggles that don't work, but I'm just- <laughs> Oh my God, so cute. I want goggles on it. Cause like, it's like a spy mission. It's like- Okay. So all right. Little, little tabby cat forms uh, with little night vision goggles and goes running across the grass, uh, which is pretty <laughs> It's tall. in the middle of the day. It's, it's in, like the goggles are uh, absurd, <laughs> but like uh, running through the grass, creeping along. To, 
and then uh, crawls up the uh, the billboard pipe, and then like uh, once I get to the circuit box, I roll freak, and it's a miss. <laughs> so on a miss, the device works, but has a completely unintended side effect that the gym will reveal when you use it. Okay. So um, the the uh, intended side effect is just distract the cops with. Um, I think, uh, um, hmm. <laughs> I think, gosh, I should have thought about this. Um, I think with a, with a, why am I spacing? I don't normally space on things like this. I think Catherine Zeta Jones, <laughs> who is singing a, like a song from Chicago. That's that's what I'm gonna use as a distraction. Okay. Because I'm really just blanked real hard. <laughs> so, <laughs> so here's what I'm gonna say. Uh, have, so you you spend the time working on it. Do you wait to trigger it until you get back to the group? Um, no. I, I think I, I think. And before, I mean, obviously I miss, but like, I think I still feel confident enough that I can like make my way inside. Um, okay. Here's what, here's what happens. So you're up on like, uh, you're, you're in the paneling of the billboard, kind of in the, in the stem of there, the, the, the pole that leads up to the, the big screen. Um, and you're messing around with it kind of maybe in a shrunken sort of Lucas form. Uh, so you can fit inside <laughs> mini Lucas, sure. uh, and, and currently kind of filling with the wires and you get it and you think, and you've integrated enough of your own tech and stuff to, you think you have it to where it's going to do what you want to do. Um, and and you go to uh, to trigger it, and you all see in that moment the the screen just lights up, just blaring in uh, this even in this mid afternoon sun. However, it doesn't have a uh, the song that you that you mean to come on doesn't. Uh, instead, it just <laughs> begins to blare these these cartoon figures, uh, which begin to play an obnoxiously loud um, song. <laughs> And uh, as the cartoon figures begin to uh, blare to life and 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 spin in place, um, the sign gets brighter and brighter and brighter. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, no, I played enough keep of it that. Going. Too. <laughs> it's a small wonder world. I hate that song so much. Uh, however, the it, you feel inside the the uh, construction is beginning to to heat up slightly, and all the cops are beginning to turn towards it. Um, and you you feel the wiring. There's some smoke that's rising from inside this uh, this this. Uh, the tech area that you're in. Sure, I can't, yeah, I, yeah it's, it's like, I think I like, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and you all watch from outside as the cops are looking over towards it. Only there's this like, this this creaking and this groaning noise, this, this uh, very loud, it's echoing throughout this uh, cleared out area. And suddenly the whole sign kind of, and begins to lurch forward and begin to fall. Uh, and Ooh. as it, falls it the screen smacks straight down onto three of the cop cars uh <laughs> which are empty but crushed uh in the uh in the ensuing impact <laughs> and i'm gonna go ahead and turn off the siren sound okay <laughs> um and the cops immediately begin to yell and and rush towards the sign um giving you an opening okay So, uh, you, the, the three or the, I guess, Rose and Olivia go, uh, running towards the side of the building. Lucas, do you come cl climbing out of the smoke? I think, I think first there's like this, like, uh, like after the, the crash, he gets up from the wreckage and like in cat form goes like, <laughs> <laughs> like from the, uh, from <laughs> then like sees the cops running over is like, <laughs> <laughs> then against the scamper uh towards like the the building uh and through just, through oh, like the tall yeah. like through the tall grass and then like uh clambers up maybe a uh gutter or something um and slips through a hole okay a side hole so the or a uh, top hole i don't know <laughs> i don't know what holes are there we'll say the three of you make it into the building okay 
All right. Um, and now that you're inside, you are in the sort of main shopping area at the bottom of this uh, department store. Uh, you can see the remnants of uh, many uh, clothing racks and um, shelves, some of which have been pushed over, most of rusted uh, plants that have grown up in through the floor of this building and kind of interwoven with the support columns. Um, and you still hear some of the distinct uh, <laughs> sounds of panic from outside from the police. And uh, as you make it into, I think the two of you or uh, Olivia and Rose see um, across, you see a cat come scampering in. Um, and uh, Lindsay, you also yeah. see these three figures enter um, as you are currently um, on the second level of the store uh, looking down on them. Okay. Do I have a good view of them or is it just like I just see figures? Like, is it bright you enough know, that I know? Yeah, it's bright enough. You can like. see you see a girl wearing uh, like a pink. Uh, I can't really remember what you're. It, it's a pink midriff. She looks like Starfire. Yeah, looking like Starfire. Um, big it's a, it's red a midriff hair. and a skirt, boots, gloves, white mask, very yeah. sparkly. Uh, so you see her looking pretty out of the ordinary. You see a uh, girl in a uh, hoodie with um, sort of a mask pulled up. And then you see a cat wearing night vision goggles. <laughs> Definitely not police, though. Okay. Actually, you know you, you i was gonna you know, say yeah, yeah. yeah you uh you recognize at least two of them you don't recognize the cat you yeah. recognize the other two. Oh, oh my god is that is that fantasia but uh, recall is that right who's there where are you um I'll cautiously step out from where I'm hiding. So like the upstairs balcony, I'm assuming. I haven't been to many malls. <laughs> <laughs> sure. The escalator, which is no longer working. Yeah, um, yeah. You kind of come to the top of the, of the broken escalator. And just dramatic lighting, like lit from the back kind of a thing. Like you just see a silhouette of a person. And uh, and what does your character look like? Um, pretty tall. Um, I'm assuming they can't see features quite yet, but kind of tallish, very thin very slender um with a lot of hair okay uh okay I, I just for simplicity i think uh, uh lucas like slowly reverse into a superhero um form of the translucent jellyfish bipedal jellyfish essentially oh uh, and, and you boy <laughs> Uh, oh my god. Uh, are, are are you all here? Or I'm losing my accent. Uh, no, just the three of us. Um, I guess you're the one the cops are looking for. Uh, I, I know the other two are are here. They're they're currently in closing closing in on our location. Uh, Rose. You just don't know. Fine. Uh, it would be a better surprise if I said just the three of us and then the other two popped out. Learn how to bluff, please. I, I didn't do anything. Um. Oh, we're not here to, like, fight or anything. Unless you're going to set us on fire like like that one chick did. <laughs> no, uh, fire's not really my thing. Great. Love it. Um, what, what, but, what is your, uh, what is your name? Oh, <laughs> Pardon my manners. Uh, perennial. You can call me Perennial. Um, I know who you all are. I can't believe I'm being Wait, a Perennial? Slot. Yeah. You know, like, type of, type of plants. That You're not the one from the woods outside of school. Uh, do I Just... know you? I'm assuming you're wearing uh, and, and I think, yeah, I think Rose actually takes off the, the mask. Hi again, Rose. Uh, wow, this is a revelation of a uh, kind. Why are you here? I've kind of been hiding out here. 
is that bad? I kind of thought it was okay because no one uses it, so... Why is there uh, police here? Like a lot of police. Yeah. We, how, uh, so like when you say a lot, like five. Well, or... they are three cars down. Um, From is... how many? I mean, the cars are, are not so good, but the police are still there and they're here. And uh, that's how we found you. So why are they here? I, don't, I, don't, I didn't do anything. I'm, I mean, it was a little bit bright for me to go out. Maybe someone reported suspicious activity or something. What sort of suspicious activity have they been reported? Well, I don't know. Maybe all the plants everywhere. All right, fine, fine. Like you're gonna be like that. Um, I'll walk down the escalator into the daylight, c- coming in through the windows and whatever. Um, and you see this very tall, very slim humanoid tree uh basically the skin is very bark like what looked like a whole lot of voluminous hair is just a bunch of like curly like leaves growing out of their head um there are some humanoid ish features like grandmother willow-esque but like hard to determine through the very planty features there are like some little sprigs with leaves growing off of them coming off of parts of their body like the fingers are too long it's a little bit slender man okay Spice McTaco would chat, but it's plenty. So I think uh, because of who Lucas is, he's like, so what sort of suspicious activity? (laughs) (laughs) Whoa. Uh, I mean, I was just doing a little bit of, taking a bit of a walk, having breakfast as it were, a little bit of tagging, just, it's really boring in here. I've seen everything there is to see. This makes our conversation make a lot more sense. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Um, I feel hi. like there's so much context that I'm missing. Are you missing this too, uh, Olivia? We, we yeah, met. It's, no, it's not just you. Or I was okay. not met a while I, ago. This one time, it's not just you. <laughs> <laughs> we, I just, there was someone uh, I was skipping <laughs> class, and there was a test in social studies, and I, uh, I just, well, we, we met. I, you were, perennial was was upset. I, I, but we just talked. And yeah. I and I'm assuming there aren't too many people around here named perennial, so. Or that like look like a well. Tree. Sh- I didn't. I do not mean offense. Special. Like you like, are super, super like self like kind of curls uh, in on themselves. Like I do not mean offense. Like you are super cool. Um, uh, do you know about Instagram? I've heard of it. You should do that. Not important right now. Um, uh, no, look like a what? What is she? N- well, we'll I'm, I'm just gonna pull later. Lucas aside and say we'll we'll talk about it. <laughs> Okay. So, so uh, I gotta get out of here. I mean, she's, um, she's tall. It's, 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 it seems to be quite normal. It's like it's, it's a WNBA. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I, I don't know what you all have on your plate, but I'm gonna go. Well, um, like, you, I've been doing pretty well not getting caught. No, oh, well, oh, no offense. Does, uh, yeah. No offense, but you were sort of what we had on our plate. Um... We listen to a lot of like police scanners and stuff, mostly because Rose gets bored. This is not really how I expected to meet you all, but hello. <laughs> uh, good afternoon, morning. I'm not sure what time. Uh, I, I don't like to be this person. It's not the person I like to be. I feel like to, to just enjoy a situation in a moment while we're in it. I don't like to, uh, you know, uh, bring things down. But uh, is there how many police outside? And they are really eager to get inside. I, and you're so right, I think you're right. perhaps like should to go. Like should, to we, make... should we go back to the... Uh, the... Oh, gosh, Spiky McTaco. That's the best <laughs> so I didn't see it. He said, I'm going to make like a tree and get out of here. <laughs> we should... You That's the right. best reference for this moment. <laughs> Seriously, though. and I'm mad at you that you thought of it before I did. But I was also somebody too. You also guys are kind, kind of in like with you now. <laughs> I was gonna make a it's salad getting kind of serious when it was like well, you're on our plate, and I'm like salad. It's clear on plate. Never mind. No, <laughs> I couldn't bring it together. You guys are right. Um, 
Lots of cops outside. Rose can teleport. You seem nice. We've got a safe spot. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'd love to. Rose, let's uh, go. All right, let's go. Um, and you all link arms. And so it's like really, un- whoever's holding perennial hand, it's like, it's these really long, like fingers that wrap around, like they're probably four or five knuckles. It's like this really creepy thing that yeah. happens. Look, this is fine. This is <laughs> this is what you all humans are like, I think. Doesn't make that many distinctions between all of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think he had a really long conversation with like a statue one time. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we don't take Lucas to the museum anymore. We go to the beach instead. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And you teleport back to the sanctuary, leaving the police confused uh, behind you. I, that was a sensation. Um, yes, it was. You got used to it. I'm glad so I grabbed cool. my stuff. Oh wow! <laughs> uh, so these are your uh, your digs. Yeah, welcome. What did you sanctuary. call it? Your sanctuary. That is wonderful. Just great. I love it. So, uh, I, I, when did uh, your uh, powers manifest? Um, so a few months ago, um, do Wait. I, do we need to talk about Do I know it? that you have powers? Do I know? <laughs> do I know? Cause like, is, is that in fiction for me to know that? Uh, I don't know that it is. Never mind. Retracted. I just well, I mean, what the are your powers? Pursuing a super. <laughs> so, so let me, let me, let, let me switch that question out with a different question. Cause like, so I'll. Uh, what sort of is it, the the police will call you a super? Uh, what sort of powers do you have? Uh, gestures. Super kind of flowers. Have you seen Lord of the Rings, like the ants, or like great? I, I mean, of course, I've seen Lord of the Rings. Uh, you have all seen the Lord of the Rings. It's like uh, a. <clears throat> Okay, so like I've Avengers? seen, I've seen, I've seen the Lord or of the Dance. Um, I've seen the <laughs> Guardians uh, of the Galaxy. Have you seen I've that seen, one? Oh, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen every. Obviously, I've seen everything. We have movies in Canada. Oh my we gosh! Have You'll have to excuse Lucas. He's not from here. But uh, we have movies in Canada. I know all about the, uh, you know, the, the Guardians of the Galaxy and everything. And Lucas, you know, it's okay if you haven't seen it. We can watch it. Like, uh, it's fine. I've seen it. I know exactly what you're talking about. I mean, those are pretty old movies. No, I'm. I, I, They're classics, the please. Um, <laughs> I've seen all um, the gods of movies. I mean, I'm a plant. All right, um, but also a person. Like someone has planted you in here for some reason. I, like that's for, for what we, Lucas, Lucas. That's like the second <laughs> definition. That was amazing. Um, <laughs> she has flower powers. Um, they. Oh, sorry. That's no, all right. It's kind of hard to tell. Perennial has flower powers. Yeah. That's so, put it. have. I'm just gonna like put my hand along the wall and just like grow some nice like flowering moss and stuff on the wall. Oh, that is amazing. Are, are Super you cool. the one that sent us a, uh, did, did the, the, the tweet that we had? <gasps> we tweeted you! What? I don't really have a phone um, anymore. Oh. Oh, yeah. She, I took a picture of it. Oh, you guys saw that? Oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I did do that. Um, okay, so okay. I just wanted to, like, spread some positivity. Like, everyone's being kind of negative about you guys, so I just wanted to... Is it from being no. negative about us? Well, I mean, like, the press isn't, like, super happy with you guys most of the time. From the, I mean, I don't get newspapers until, like, a few days late. Because I have to steal them off, like, porches and dumpsters and stuff. I don't know. Are you guys like now? It's been a few days. What, what of... is a newspaper? <laughs> In 2050. Touche. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Dang. Um... um Plot hole. Uh, so, uh, okay, so uh, powers, that's amazing. So, how did the police uh, catch wind of you? 
like I said, I don't know. I'm usually pretty good at hiding, but today I got kind of antsy and I wanted to go make another little, a little, and I kind of like just trace my finger along the moss I grew and like slough off some, like to make it wither and then just like spell something out of it. Just Ooh. like raffle stomp squat. Oh. oh. I was just gonna do a little, a little something, something, but maybe somebody saw me, uh, I don't know. I just heard the sirens and so I ran. And um, wouldn't well, be the first time I had to do that. So well, I I'm, glad, I I'm glad that we found you first. Um, yeah, me too. I mean, police are one thing, but there's also, you know, the alternative. So, what is the alternative? Like getting snatched up, you know? By like, whom? There are these people going around. They've been like following me. I've had to like, that department store is like the fifth place I've tried to stay. Like, there have been some people going around trying to snatch people up. And I don't know what anyone would want with something like me, unless it's... Ba- I assume this would be on your guys' radar already. The only radar we have is kind of what we stole from the cops? All right, well... well it's, it's not technically your radar, but I, 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 it, 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 I guess it does use some of the technology, but it's more of a uh, sort of set of, I'm sorry, that's not the point of what's going on right now. I'm sorry, what... Do you think they're going to... I mean, do you think they're going after people with powers? I mean, if not, they're really into floral design. Probably Um, not. So, I mean, I got real close one time. So, hold on. Let me see if I can help y'all. And I'm going to slide off like this little backpack. (laughs) From oh. the little, those little tiny Jansport backpack. Or yeah, no. <laughs> exactly. Um, rifle through some things. I pulled this off of one of them one time. Uh, it was a real close call. I don't know if you guys can make anything of it. And it's just like this torn scrap of fabric, maybe off of like a sleeve, sh- like a shoulder of a sleeve or something. And it says Helix Corp on it. Oh no. See, I but, knew you guys would know something about it. I knew you guys were already on it. We we are already on it, of course. So there's nothing to worry about. We are on the um the the the, the fabric industry. We are following every lead that they are that make the old your t-shirts and the. Uh, you the already pajamas. know where they get their suppliers are. No, yeah, the pajamas and uh, the jeans are all of the clothes. We are following every inside. Ch- no, I'm just we are following every thread. I shall say. Um, oh, that was that was pretty good. You're very welcome. <laughs> uh, thank you. Um, I know what? a thing or two about them. <laughs> what have you... Oh, may I ask what? Seeing how they did lay hands on me and I had to run for my life, I'm a little bit invested in whatever information you have. It's a really long, complicated, very complicated story. Um, I, I did not know and, they were doing this. That's news, but do know who they are. Um, if you would like, um, I can get some ice cream for everyone and have some chairs. If this is going to take a while, we can yeah, sit down and enjoy ourselves. As long ourselves. as the police are out looking for something in my description, I think I've got plenty of time until they disperse. Okay, great. I'll go get some pizza and rose pops off. Awesome. I'll get some. Yeah, ice we cream can totally talk from- about it. Yes. So I will get some shells and some uh, some uh, some ice cream from the uh, cafeteria. Um, there are like a window down here. Yeah, the one that we came in through. Uh, uh what? Because <laughs> we teleported in here. Oh, of- that's right. Oh, we yeah. No, I'll go and like open the little the little window. Okay. Um, I'm assuming the floor is like a bare cement floor. It's lava. <laughs> it's lava. It's lava. We're lava. in the boiler room. <laughs> I'm just gonna yeah. kind of prop it open a little bit, get a little sunlight, sure, and fresh air in here. Can I ask you like a weird question? Totally like free to not answer it. Uh, yeah, shoot. So you're like a plant and you need sun, but like, do you also eat? Uh, n- no, I I no. don't. I just you know <laughs> photosynthesize. Fourth grade science over here. That's me. That's cool. Uh, yeah. Rose pops back in with a stack of average size Caesar's pizza. Um, <laughs> that was awful quick. 
Well, I mean, they're just already ready at the store, so. Uh, Did you say hot and ready? <laughs> Those hot, hot and ready, ready. average seasons. I'd say pizzas. lukewarm and ready. Um, but yeah, they're good. Uh, here. <clears throat> Do y'all so mind, cool. mind if I um, just kind of st- stay right here? For yeah, do whatever. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. Do you want a chair? No, I'm I'm good. Do you need some water? No, I'm good. And I'll just kind of casually start rooting into the ground and just like kind of slowly break it through the cement to get to actual ground that I can root into. Cool. Just like awkwardly looking around. So story time. Yes. Oh, that's me. <laughs> yeah. Yes. yes. Um. Well. So yeah. Um. Helix Corp. Cool. Um. Some cool people there. They're like a big science corp. Oh my god, spit it out already. My dad works for them. Oh. Oh. That's where your dad works. Yeah. Uh, he's like big time science guy. Whatever. Like Bill, Bill Nye? <laughs> sort of, yeah. Except without the TV shows because he's too awkward for that. Um, he's like a good dude though and Here's the thing. I don't, it's not really a story. It's more just like a random assembly of, of facts that I have, but they might help. So I guess I'll give them to you. My dad works for Helix Corp. Um, and he's cool. Totally, totally knows I have powers and stuff um, because he's like one of the people that gave them to me sort of accidentally. What? This All is, right, so how's that? This is super awkward. Hi, perennial. I know we just met, but I guess we're going to be like best friends now because you're going to know everything about my life. Um, well, I mean, okay. <laughs> that's cool. I like you. So uh, like a few years ago, um, I mean, Rose will remember this because we've gone to school for together for like ever, um, but I got super sick, really sick. That's why I missed all that school that one time in like junior high i was gone for like yeah. six months or something I, I thought we all thought you had mono or something yeah for six months no um i got really really sick like like terminally sick oh and that sucked and um my dad right big super science guy and two other doctors um obviously he spared no expense trying to like fix whatever was going on with me and science, 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 experimental treatments, illness is gone. Now I have powers. So like, was that on purpose though? No, super not on purpose, like at all. And how long ago was that? This was four years ago, three years ago. All right. Another thing that might be a little bit important. um, One of the members of that team that tried to cure my illness and accidentally gave me superpowers sort of just like left the corporation in just total disgrace (laughs) recently. For because, like okay. wanting to experiment on people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And being super interested in powers. Mm-hmm. That seems like it might be connected. I mean, I don't know. So do you and your dad, like, talk about it a lot? The whole powers thing? I mean, we've talked about it. I mean, he was, you know, he's my dad. Like, Like, do you know what he's into? Or, like, what Helix is doing now? 
Like, I don't know, and I don't. I don't think he's involved in all that. Like he, I mean, I mean his his field of expertise is like vaccines and and so like cures stuff like that, but not. I mean, not for her, like powers and stuff like for like the flu and the cancer and stuff no it's not like he's a good dude no no like it's possible to have a cure for powers oh i mean Uh, i I mean i i guess well if you got cured Okay, would you go back to being a plant or go back to being a person? Rose, rude. I'm. I just. I don't know. I didn't know. It's sort of uh, a chicken and the egg situation. That's I didn't know. Kind of a really good question. Were what were you first? A person. Okay. So probably a person. But I don't know if I can go back now. <laughs> um. I not much of a person anymore. I mean, I could ask him. That would be great. Uh, I couldn't find any ice cream, but I managed to find some pudding. I don't know. It's all chocolate, if that's uh, what you're looking for. Um, but uh, I have two cups of uh, chocolate pudding. I'll pass. Thank you. Lucas, Lucas, right? Is that what I heard? Uh, yeah, does that this isn't the name that I have. Do you I prefer have... Lucas or Muta Boy? Because that's yes. what I heard first. Okay, so, either way, all right. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, I don't have a spoon. I'm sorry. I forgot to bring that. Uh, maybe we have some plastic cutlery here. <laughs> I don't know. We should talk to my dad. Yeah. Yep. Do you Okay, so if we talk to your dad, let's play this out. Um and he's in on it. Cuz he knows you have powers, right? And that's like fine, right? He's like Yeah, fine yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's like been there through the whole thing. All right. So, but what if What if he turns us in? To who? The cops? Or the Gestapo that are trying to arrest us. I mean... I mean, he could have turned me in a long time ago. I guess that's true. I would be more comfortable if you all go talk to him and I just, you know, like, stay here or something. Being seen isn't usually very good for me. Like, good things don't well, happen. I mean, he's, like, super, super cool. I... Does he well, typically here's... talk to his ficuses, and is he cool with that? He well, doesn't here's really something... have ficuses, but I was also gonna, like, say you could stay with us. Like, he's super cool, and we've got extra bedrooms, and it's way better than this place. I'll I'll throw something else out there. Um and I'm sorry for being blunt about it. If you were a person before you got your powers, um, I could turn your powers off for a bit. What? 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 Oh, Rose can do that. Uh, uh, we can see what happens. Yeah, it's temporary. Uh, they always come back. Yeah, um, what? Uh, y- yeah. We can try it, yeah. All right. Um, I guess we'll just see what happens. And uh, Rose sort of concentrates, and there's a moment where I think... What happens to Lucas when this happens? Well, I was going to say... Lucas, I guess if we were talking about what happens when you are exposed to the... uh, Because I assume it's happened at some point. And are your... That's a good question. I'm going to see if I can find some cutlery with these puddings. <laughs> and I'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> oh, no. Am I Deadpool in this situation? Pretty much. <gasps> Wait, what? Oh, no. 
I guess you'd go back to, yeah, being whatever you were before you got your powers. Terminal Damn, it's got dark. Uh, <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. I was also going to say it probably hurts real bad yeah. when perennial like reverts because they don't have organs or bones. <laughs> so it's like very rapidly. Um, but I want it to be similar to that X-Men 3 scene, the one that was like the only yeah, good... I, it doesn't have to be just... Hey, here's what I'll say. Uh, I mean, I, we haven't really played around with that. I'm not saying that Rose's powers are like all powerful to negate things. Um, I think it's... I don't think it would fully revert you to your like terminally ill stage, uh, uh, Olivia. I think it would probably do more of like a like your surface power, like the, the not like a deep like it doesn't completely wipe them out, but you can't manifest them. I guess in that moment, like a su- more like a suppression. Yeah, more okay. like a suppression, and probably be the that's, same for Lucas. Um, that's way I'm, less sad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was like, oh, this. Oh, I imagine it'd be the same for Lucas, especially since. From what we know of Lucas, yours is more innate to your physiology and less about like superpowers anyway. Um, so would perennial stay like the same but couldn't do any like? No, I'd say I, I, or we can work in the fi- I'm okay with working with the fiction that it it reverts you back to your like human form. Well, that's neat because they aren't wearing any clothes. <laughs> well, Lucas left the room. <laughs> Okay, this is who's the only person that would not have yeah. <laughs> be like, this is but fine. the rest of us are here yeah, yeah so similar to that only good x-men 3 scene like probably starts with the hands like uh reverts back to um roughly 17 year old uh black teenager very androgynous looking um wow would they be bald would they have hair like would their hair come back it's up to uh, you uh yeah, let's say their hair comes back. Just like long, like braided hair. Um, yeah, like shrinks probably like two feet <laughs> to like a normal teenager height. And it's just like staring at their hands and like feet and like wiggling their toes <laughs> in this cracked cement. Wow. It, it worked. Oh. <laughs> uh, do you want a, a t-shirt or something? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, that would be good. Get you some clothes. I couldn't find any spoons, <laughs> uh, but I do have this. Uh, Holds transport backpack strategically. I've, I have uh, these two pairs of chopsticks. I hope that is uh, sufficient. <laughs> For eating ice cream, it's perfect. It's pudding. Not oh, pudding. Even better. <laughs> I put on the shirt. Okay. There's probably some clothes around. Probably. Like, I like mean, a, with Kiki though, probably she probably has like ten different outfits in here. Yeah, we've got That's some true. extra clothes around. It'd probably also be like maybe uh, school uniform stuff, like um, maybe athletic gear or something like that. There you go. So, so like take your clothes. pick. Let's take yeah. your pick. I'll wear some gym clothes. I'd rather wear gym clothes than Ma- Kiki's magical girl outfits without permission. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, like just kind of stunned now. Did you change your hair? Uh, yeah, and then like kind of grabs their braids, just kind of like puts them up in a ponytail, and it's just like, oh my gosh, just all right. Uh, well, I can keep that going for a couple hours if we want to go over to uh, hang out with your dad. Yeah, I mean, he's at work, but. I could probably like nine one one, dad, emergency, come home now. Or we go to your dad's office. To Helix Corp. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. All of us with. Then let's do it. You have a car. Let's, let's, well, I mean, let's none go. of us have powers right now, do we? Nope. Hmm. They wouldn't even know. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Plus, I mean, we already broke into a police station this week. We're not breaking in. Okay. What? Hmm? It's a really long story. Well, we we didn't so much as break in as much as we just did. The new Grand Theft Auto game is really detailed. Um, All right. hmm. I mean, if we've only got a couple of hours, I'm raring to go. All right. I'll change. I guess change out of your superhero costumes. 
I will um, change as well. <laughs> step out of the uh, power negation field, revert, and step back <laughs> in. I guess it would just lock you into whatever form you. Yeah, what's the to. range on that? What is Rose's range? Um, I, I don't know. I guess we haven't really played around with it. Um, just so I that I know how close I need to stick to Rose. Maybe like ten yards or so. Um, oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's not infinite, but it, yeah, it's a sizable distance. I think, I think Perennial stays like still within like max like eight feet of Rose at all times. Oh, okay. Okay, and I'll drive. Oh, shit, we have to take the long way. Damn it. Okay. Um, just grinning, just like rubbing their hands on like the leather seats, like rolling the window down, sticking their head out, like looking at everything. And you crank some T-Swift and head over to- I love Perennial says shotgun, even though we normally have to call it. <laughs> All right, uh, we're gonna go and take a break there uh, for our after first half of the game over uh, and pick back up with our journey to to helix court um be right back in 10 minutes everyone oh welcome back everyone uh let's just jump right into it because i don't have anything else to say uh so let me change the music up oh beach heist music I <laughs> uh, don't have any of that. That's not what I want. Go away. Dude. But the nostalgia. That's I'm imagining this like like in uh in, in fiction, just like we're in the car and like someone's fiddling with the radio of the uh you know uh Murano. Yeah. Not country. <laughs> Uh, stop stop driver picks the music <laughs> shotgun right, uh, shuts his k hole. so olivia you know the way to uh helix corp you've already driven there a couple of times now you uh, arrive at the gates that surround the facility just on the north side of the uh, city and as you pull up the uh lone guard that operates this gate um steps up uh, to the car and uh, immediately recognizes you. Hi, Chester. Uh, you say Chester? Yes. Okay, just to make sure I got the name right, because I was going to impro- improvise something, but that worked Too perfectly. late, beat you. <laughs> uh, he says, oh, 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 hey there, Olivia. Uh, I I wasn't told you were coming in today. Um, I didn't know either. Oh, uh, these your friends here? Yeah, everyone, this is Chester. He's super cool. Pleasure um, to meet you, Chester. Nice to meet you. I'm, I'm sure all wonderful people. Just make sure you sign in at the gate when you, uh, when you come in. Um, want to keep tabs on everyone. Uh, you know it. Going. All right. Well, uh, I'll uh, buzz your dad. Let him know you're you're on your way. Thank you. Um, he walks in and uh, hits the button, and the gate arm swings open. Have a good day. Um, Stay cool. Uh, he says you too, and uh, you go pulling into the main parking lot. Uh, you find a place to park among the rows and rows of cars and walk up to the building itself. It's a pretty plain looking building, probably about three stories, but uh, there aren't any windows on the on the first floor. Uh, and it's kind of a smooth grayish white uh, s- surface, just uh, completely flat across the face um, and a, a rectangular building that disappears out of sight. Uh, the gate or this uh, fence seems to encompass the entire uh, facility and then there are a couple security cameras mounted to the um, to the corners um, but otherwise pretty um, unremarkable except for a logo kind of off into the right on the building uh, that same big uh, green and uh, purple insignia that says helix corp <laughs> well there you go do we just walk on in or yeah. All right. Uh, you walk up to the gate to the doors, which slide open um, as you enter the front lobby. Uh, have that ready. Uh, that's going to happen about twenty more times before yes. the end of this. Uh, Every <laughs> door. 
uh, and you're in the the main lobby area, which is uh, decorated nicely for sort of visitors to the facility. There are some chairs uh, scattered around in sort of a waiting area, a few ferns growing in the corners uh, with some magazines on tables, probably very outdated. Uh, and there is a reception area, a circular desk with a man sitting at it. Um, probably t- not too much older than all of you, uh, maybe early 20s. And uh, he's got a kind of a headset on, uh, which he clicks off and says, Oh, um, welcome. Uh, uh, can I help any of you uh, kids with anything? Hi, yeah, um, we're here to see Dr. Dayton. He knows Doctor, I'm coming. Dr. Dayton uh, he kind of flips through the schedule book. He says, I don't see any appointments for it's, Dr. Dayton. I'm his kid. He knows I'm coming. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. This is only my second week here. I don't know anyone yet. Uh, can I just, I'm just going to buzz and make sure this is okay before I, I let you in. Here, will you sign here? And he pulls up a clipboard and uh, actually, no, it wouldn't be a clipboard. It'd be like an iPad sort of thing. And he uh, slides there, turns it on the cool. desk towards you and um, with the stylus on the side and says, just sign in and uh, scan your, your thumb right there at the bottom. And uh, I'll go ahead and let your father know you're coming. Uh, is it Alan Dayton? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm Olivia. Olivia, okay. Um, and the and these are there with you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and he uh, goes over to his computer and kind of punches a few buttons in and um, begins to type a message to somebody using their internal communication system. I sign everyone in. Okay. Why well, sign- sign in for perennial? <laughs> I put. I put Neil. Kiki's name. <laughs> okay, put Kiki on there. Yeah. All right. Would you ask, or would you just kind of hesitate and then just do it? No, just do it. All right. And then you all scan your thumbs on the keypad as well. Oh God. Um, yep. Yep. Any trickery or tomfoolery going on there? No, no trickery. I think I'm just like, oh god, what is my thumb? I don't know that I've. <laughs> you have to figure out what, what a thumbprint looks like. Yeah, um, I'm just kind of. Like, I think like if if you like zoom in really close, like it says like Lucas in the thumbprint. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's probably a moment where you scan it at first, and the thing goes. Eh, eh, eh. As, oh, yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I like that a lot. It just like, tries it like probably two more times before it like actually registers as a actual thumbprint. And they go, Dling! and then you move to the next person. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't work right if your hands are sweaty. I know it's hot outside. <laughs> yes, I'm not used to this weather. I'm from Canada. <laughs> all right, I bet it like it like snows all the time there, right? Yes. And are you still acclimating? We are, uh, we are known for enough. that. <laughs> the snow. Cool. Uh, and the uh, the man at the desk uh, swivels back towards you and says, "All right, you're you're good to go. Um, if, here you are. Here are your visitor badges." And hands the uh, four visitor badges over to uh, your group. And says, um, do you know the way to your father's office or do you need an escort? No, we're fine. Thanks. All right. Um, well, I'll just make sure you sign out when you leave. We'll do. What was, what was your name? Um, Brian. Brian. Thank you're you. You're cool. Mom. Doing a you're great very job. Helpful. Yeah, you're, you're doing great. All right. Wouldn't uh, have known you were new, except you told us. So. Oh, well, I need to not do that. Well, again, sorry if I gave you any trouble. Um, have a have a good time, and uh, let me know if you need anything. I feel like Perennial's just making like excessive eye contact with people, and is just like smiling at everyone and being like, "Hello!" And it's just like so excited. I think he's a little off take, and he people. sort of leans back a bit, yeah. <laughs> and just sort of waves as you pass through the uh, the doors which open to lead uh, to exit this and you uh, being heading down the hallway. And we're uh, once again outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. As we're, uh, as we're walking, um, I just like, uh, so perennial, I totally signed you in as one of our other friends. 
in oh. a moment of panic. Um, is your... Here's the thing. I lower my voice. I got lost. I'm like whispering. We all have like, right, like our names and there are like names. Do you have that or is perennial just like your name? I feel rude for not asking like literal <sighs> hours ago. Um, I feel like they kind of do like that burst of laughter. You don't expect that you're going to laugh, but then you do. And there's like, um, I, I guess right now, Gentry, <laughs> like you can call me Gentry. Cool. Uh, but what's oh, what's is it like right a portmanteau, like Gentry? Oh, right now you are um, Yukiko. Yukiko, all yeah. right. I will endeavor to remember that. And, and no, or Kiki. Not... Or Kiki, yes, that I can do. Um, these complimentary pens, I'm just nervously clicking <laughs> over here. Sorry about that. Good, good audio. I don't think those were complimentary. I think you just oh, no. stylus. No, they are. Oh. You can totally take them. It's fine. Okay, all right. <laughs> as you walk down the hall uh, there are a couple of just sort of generic uh, scenic landscape like uh, uh, the, it's bleak white interior all the way around uh, but there are some like uh, portraits and, and other kind of um, images displayed on the walls all of them moving sort of like uh, LED images and uh, it's kind of giving this off like a uh, disparity between the the kind of dead sterile interior and the environment probably a place i imagine perennial is a little bit uncomfortable by um being so removed from nature but i don't know that's your choice uh, it's complicated motion like i'm freaking back with people i'm in civilization but also like it's weird. very sterile like clinical um inside here but you follow the passageway around uh heading up the elevator to the third floor of the building where your father's office is. And uh, as you make it over to the, the lab that he works in, uh, I guess, what is, what is your father's like specialty? What is, what is his? Um, um, he is an immunologist. Immunologist. Okay. Um, so you see the uh, scientific equipment, you see some centrifuges, you see uh, coolers with um, uh, like uh, samples, uh, probably like viral samples or bacterial samples over in the uh, corners of the room. Um, the windows themselves, you can see out, but there is this sort of uh, filter to them, um, giving it sort of an off coloring uh, to the to the outside world that you can see, um, filtering out the UV uh, rays. And there are a couple other technicians that are in the lab right now. Uh, however, your uh, there is a, an office to the side of the room um, that belongs to your dad. And as you enter, a couple of the technicians turn and give confused looks. Uh, one of them uh, recognizes you, Olivia, and says, uh, sort of an, uh, an older uh, woman, and uh, she says, oh, Olivia, uh, your, your father's back this way. Uh, I'll go get him. And uh, she um, darts off to the doorway and uh, calls in and says, uh, I forgot your last name. Dr. Dayton, your daughter's here to see you. And uh, your father comes out with a confused and kind of worried expression on his face. Says, Olivia, uh, are, are you all right? Come in, come in. Uh, Olivia's friends, I'm assuming. Yes, hello. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Uh, they they called me, uh, said that you were here. Is, is anything wrong? Uh, I'm fine. So, we'll preface with that. Uh, just right. something came up. Super sorry to just, like, show up in your office, but... That's fine. Um, you all come in. You're, you're all welcome here. Uh, of course, um... Just we'll get you out of the way uh, and brings you all into his office and closes the door. And there are a couple chairs around here. You can make yourself comfortable. It's a smaller office with a one glass window looking out into the main lab area. Um, and he most of you all sit and says, what's wrong? Well, it's kind of a long story. Oh, my God. It's like the theme of the day. Um, first of all, Dad. These are some of my friends. Oh, Weird. um, um, Lucas, you know Rose. Rose, I'm 
at the uh, and Rose nods uh, nods and says, "Alan." He kind of gives her a look uh, and uh, looks at the rest of you. Do you introduce the other two? Anna, Lucas. Hello, Anna. Alan. <laughs> <laughs> Anna, this is Gentry. Uh, I'll hold out my hand to shake and uh, good afternoon, sir. It's a, it's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, he shakes your hand with a smile and says, um, "I'm, as I'm sure you know, I'm Olivia's father. Um, you can call me Alan, if you wish, or Mr. Dayton, uh, or Dr. Dayton. Dr. Dayton. Know. Super cool. Doesn't matter. Um, you're all welcome, of course. Uh, I'm I'm glad to see you're, you took my advice to hang out with your friends today, Olivia, but I... Is, now I'm going to make you hang out with them, too. I appreciate it. Did, I guess it's it's killing me right now. What What's wrong? What, what happened? Well, we have some questions about Helix Corp. And um, there aren't like people listening into your office for any reason, are there? Right? I'll turn off the bugs that they have. I, like no. cops or something? I... No, this is a secure facility. Are you in trouble with the police? No, absolutely not. Please, they love me. Especially that um, Rick Rickerson. He is like really important. I think yeah. I went to school with a Rick Rickerson. <laughs> Did he really like chainsaws? I remember he got kicked out of my anatomy class. He might be a cop now. God save us. Dad. <laughs> <Don't mistake us>. <laughs> <laughs> Chainsawing intensifies. <laughs> We're just building up the mythos of Rick Rickerson. Like, it was, uh, <laughs> he did really well in like wood shop. Like, uh, <laughs> that wasn't his passion. Yeah, we. <laughs> Dad, me and Kiki had to like hang out with him all day for a job shadow, and it was just like. Is is that why you're here? Did. Do do I need to go down to the station? No, he was just like weird. <laughs> All right. This is uh, way more important. <laughs> then let's just. I, I'm sure it's important. I, I I just want to understand what's going on. I have some questions about this place about Helix Corp. Um. Sure. Apparently, there are some people who work for Helix or a division or a squad or whatever that are going after people like me. I I don't think that's why do you why do you think that? Did somebody approach you from the company? Not me, but a friend of mine. It, it, it was it was me, sir. I didn't want to just say. <laughs> yeah. Wait. You. Yeah. Um. Some people tried to grab me. Uh. And I caught a glimpse of their insignia and it was uh, the Helix Corp logo. Wait, you have abilities too. Uh, currently! <laughs> um, yeah, I guess you could call it that. Looks kind of back and forth with you, Olivia, and says, this is, this is wonderful, this is... Uh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm sure it's complicated. I There are some people at Helix that are very interested in well the you've seen the news, we've watched it together, Olivia. The the Yeah, the vigilantines, please. I'm Are you are you one of them? 
Not One you, of... Olivia. He's looking to um, uh, Gentry. <laughs> Olivia's like, I can't lie to my father. Dodge uh, that bullet. <laughs> he looks. He looks over to Gentry and he says, "Are you one of them?" No, uh, I'm. I'm. I'm not that cool. <laughs> I'm nobody, really. First so, of all, they're super cool, but. So you've told your friends about about what happened to you, Olivia. Yeah, sort of broad strokes. But this... Dad, this is bad. There are people out there wearing your logo trying to take people, like snatch people. I can promise they aren't with the company anymore. Well, they're wearing your name on their back. Is there a mask's equivalent of an insight check that I could do? Uh... Hmm. Like, what is that? Am I piercing the mask? Is that what that is? That's probably the closest. Let me read the move just to make sure. Um, One day I'll read the rules of this game. But today is not this Yeah, day. when you pierce someone's mask to see the person beneath. Yeah, I, I think we've been using pierce the mask for that. I think that, that, that'll work. Okay. Um, the only other one would work is maybe assess the situation, but... Okay. I just like to works best. I'd like to just be paying lots of attention to what's going on here. Sure. Okay, so you want me to roll mundane? Or... Yeah, roll plus mundane. Okay, <clears throat> this is gonna be good. Oh, jeez, I have to do it myself. That's a five. That's a miss. So go ahead and mark uh, a potential. Holla. And then uh, I don't think you get get anything. Anything. I'm just yeah. aghast. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so what he says is, I, I didn't tell you the whole story with, with Dr. Ian. I, I didn't want to worry you, Olivia. Um. Oh, please. I'm so easy to worry. Stress really gets to me. It's not like I'm literally dying or anything. I don't appreciate that attitude. I don't appreciate you keeping secrets from me. I'm sorry. I haven't eaten lunch yet. I'm so cranky. It's fine. Since the incident that led to your abilities, uh, there was a lot of discussion here about what to do with that information. It's confidential, so most of it involved the team that was directly supervising or involved with your uh, your rehabilitation and and the cure and that's when the falling out happened um, Malcolm wanted to study further to experiment I know you caught some of that those arguments yeah he was a super creep but it didn't stop there. He assumed that there would be others out there, that this, what happened with you was the, just unlocked something that was already dormant in your genetic coding. And he theorized that there were others out there and theorized correctly. So it would seem that there were others out there with similar abnormalities. There are a lot of us. So it seems, and he wanted to study them further and was willing to go to extremes, proposed a division of Helix to track down these individuals um, for further study. Of course, highly unethical and... Yeah, it's like, like a kidnapping squad. We reported him to the board and had him his certifications removed and he was fired. I haven't seen him since. But there were some that left with him as well. Others that agreed with his uh, philosophy. I don't think there's anyone still here with that, but I can't 
I can't be certain. We still haven't been able to get uh, into the sub basement C since, or sub level C since um, he left. He encrypted the locking mechanisms and, and we haven't been able to access it since. So we have no idea what it was he was doing before he left. So he just like locked it up tight? Mm hmm. It's part of what we've been trying to sort out, going through his office, looking for any. The tech guys have had a lot of, put in a lot of hours over the last week trying to figure that out, but nothing so far. I mean, I can maybe help with that. Wait, you think your abilities might be able to to do something there? I mean, not mine, but I've got some friends. Uh, your daughter is uh, very uh, resourceful. Looks over towards Gentry. Yeah, we're like super, super smart and good at this, so. I can't just let you run around the facility trying to, I don't know what's in that lab down there. And I mean, if some professional tech people are having trouble with it, I don't really think we're going to have much better luck. I understand that you want to help Olivia. I, I, I really do. Um, and I think there will be a time and a place for that when once you've graduated after you study and you can come work here. I know that we talked about that before. Yeah, are you telling me that I have to like study and graduate to help you open a door? We Dad. have data. Uh, you don't even have to tell anybody. I really want to know. Look, this like weirdo is out there trying to like kidnap me and my friends. What if it's me? What if it's me next? He doesn't care. He doesn't care about you. He doesn't care about your feelings. What am I going to say to him? Oh no, I'm Dr. Dayton's daughter. That's just going to make him want to kidnap me more. I'm going to have you roll to uh, provoke someone. <laughs> yeah, It's going to make him want to kidnap me more. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to kidnap me? <laughs> oh gosh. Great old plus zero. I'm going to say uh, for like verbs, like kidnap, like kids are great. Naps are great. But kidnaps are terrible. <laughs> Did not know where that was going when you started. <laughs> um, I rolled an eight. Okay. Which is a hit I need to look at. All right. For uh, NPCs on a 10 plus, the rest of Bay and do what you want. On a seven to nine, they, they can't choose instead one. choose one. Um, they stumble, they err, they overreact. Okay. I think I'm on the fence about this. Um, mm -hmm. So they can instead choose one here. I think you rolled a hit. I'm going to. Go ahead and say he does what you want here. Uh, he was on the fence and kind of leaning towards uh, giving in anyway. So um, I think what's going to happen here is he uh, kind of bites his lip and he, and he looks back out the window and he says, Fine. I can't take you down there, but you know where... You know where the office is, and if you want to go look around, I'm not going to stop you. But just look. All right? And if you find anything, come right back up here. Super cool. I shouldn't be letting you do this. I'm a terrible father. Maybe you shouldn't have given me superpowers. How many people have you told, by the way, about like this? Like two? There are three people in this room. Five. I think there will be a day where, where you can tell people where this can be shared openly. And I, I really hope that day comes soon. In the meantime, you do need to be careful. I've seen what they're saying on the on the news. The police are... I wouldn't want them to think that you're one of these vigilantines either. And if they loan you have powers, they're... 
Well, they're not going to stop and ask. All right. Yeah, okay. For what it's worth, sir, I mean, these people we're trying to find out about are the ones making it most unsafe for her and me. So, giving us a shot at this is basically giving us a shot at making it safer for everyone. You need to remember you're just kids, though. So if you find anything, let me know and I'll report it. Okay? Totally. All right. Go ahead. Also, I I, I have to say, I'm sorry. Uh, these magazines... Uh, all the differences between the two photos have already been discovered, so there's not much left for me to do. <laughs> he, uh, he looks at you and he says, um, I'll find some... I'll make sure they change the magazines downstairs. These are like 20, 40,000 in late. <laughs> I appreciate the uh, the suggestion, uh, Lucas. Was it? And is. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> he nods and, and kind of gestures towards the door in in the sort of get out way. Uh, why do I say things? Okay, <laughs> continue. Because they're funny. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you leave your father's office and he sort of watches you uh, walk out towards the hallway and you can see the conflict on his face. I'm going to like look behind him and be like. <laughs> um, he just Mom gives friend. A, a yeah. thumbs up. Um, and you all head over towards the elevator where you... Uh, There's an actual plane flying outside. I, I was it. confusing me because, uh, so you you head over towards the elevator, and there are the the numbers for floor one, two, three, and then there's also the floors for the sub levels, uh, A, B, C, and D. Um, push the button for sub level C, and the elevator descends and opens up into another almost identical hallway. This one is a straight shot uh, to a set of doors at the very end. While we're on the way down, I'm just like, you guys, I'm so sorry. That was super awkward. Like, I didn't want to just like out you to my dad. I'm going to look for any security cameras in this here elevator. Uh, in the elevator? Um, yeah. You don't see any cameras. Typically there are. There, there's usually one, like in case someone gets stuck in there, but... I'm not that smart. <laughs> it doesn't get someone stuck in there so the people can watch them die. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it. Yeah. Like so, that one movie. It's like that one movie. I just want to, the security officers just want to watch you die in there. They can't yeah. do nothing to help you. Rick Rickerson um, is also the security officer here. Gosh you, you dang it, Rick. <laughs> you don't um, see I, uh, the buttons on the elevator. It's a electronic panel, like a, like a screen. Um, mm -hmm. Could be a camera behind that. But yeah, could be, could be, could be. I'm just gonna poke it and just see like what lights up and just kind of futz through options that don't actually change what floor we're going to while listening. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, there oh, aren't really. Enter her any statement. Yeah, no, it's fine. Yeah. Oh there, yeah, the whole time down, I'm just like, I'm uh, so awkward. Like, I didn't know what to say. I didn't want to no, just out you guys. Are. You are not awkward. You are a vision. You uh, w walk through this life with a grace and uh, this effortlessness that is a... Uh, uh, I don't know. I, I am still learning the uh, metaphor and everything, but you like the, uh, like water, you know? Like, like, like it's the wind as you just... Kind of, you seem to just flow through so naturally for everything. Oh my God, thank you. That That's was like the so nicest nice. thing anyone's ever said to me. All right. <laughs> Brandon was just like, poke, 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 poke. anyway. So, especially Gentry, like, sorry if that was super awkward, but I didn't just want to like say, 
No, it was fine. Like, it was fine. I mean, I'm, I kind of chickened out asking him about if he knows anything about a cure, but if we're going to be going up anyway, then I will ask later. Oh, a cure for what? Pa- pow- powers. Were you not there for that conversation? What do you oh. mean? A, a, a cure for powers? He was getting pudding. <laughs> yeah, I was just curious if this music is excellent. Is there another station? Let me see if I can find it. Changing the elevator. No, it's stuck. <laughs> it's stuck. You hit it too many times. It's thinking now. There's a little uh, rainbow Jackie, pinwheel. What are you doing? <laughs> rainbow sorry, pinwheel. I'm sorry. I'm just a little bit nervous. I d- I'm not prepared to go do this thing that we're about to do. What Sorry, yeah, we... Your, we... your powers are... Uh, they are a, a wonderful gift. Uh, why, why, no. Uh, why are you seeking to uh, secure them? Maybe for some of you they are. For me, they're really not. Not at all. I saw your work. It was, it was wonderful. You, you drew the thing with the, uh, the plants. Uh, there is something about uh, being able to inter- uh, interface with the natural world and the way that you do that, no one can do it. That is wonderful and special. Why would you want to uh, cure that? Uh, well, I mean, if I could do that looking like like this, that would be great. But but like, like this, like this, like a person. I, what, like whiz? Never mind. Never mind. Hey, I get it. Not everyone's powers are like super magical, sparkly rainbows. Mine are like killing me from the inside. So. Yeah, I noticed you said that. Um, yeah, it's are awesome. we gonna revisit that? Maybe at a better time. I mean, I yeah. If you want our floor, if you want to talk about it, totally. I. Not a not a big fan of the of the music you landed on, by the way. It's, sort it's of ominous stopped. and creepy. The doors are open. And you're oh, on. We're just yeah. staring at this open hall. We're just chatting. <laughs> well, yeah, no, to, totally. Sub level C is an <laughs> ominous music hallway. It's, 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 <laughs> oh, <laughs> it is. okay. In the it's key just, of C, I get it. I get oh, it. C minor. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, totally. In the key like, of you... see you later, doomed person. <laughs> But yeah, no, totally, like, after we get... See you in hell. <laughs> after we're done, like, breaking into the creepy science stuff, like, if you want to talk about it, totally. Yeah, um, yeah. So, I'm not equipped for this. Hmm? Are you all equipped for this? Lucas Equipped's- is super good with technology some of the time, so... Comforting. All oh. right. <clears throat> oh, so many bones I have in my body. <laughs> That killed me! Oh my god. <laughs> I hate that I made myself laugh. It, it feels like it's not cool, but like... It's the coolest <sighs> though. But so many <laughs> bones and organs in my body. I just have to stretch. I just gotta stretch them. Okay. <sighs> oh, so I'm gonna look I'm for sorry. cameras Be- in this hallway. Okay. <laughs> there is one camera um, that is like directly above the elevator looking down the hallway. So I hope the camera doesn't have a microphone because if it does, we're screwed. Oh, what are we screwed with? Is that some sort of screwdriver? I've heard I, in- I would rather not. Definitely hmm? no. But point being, I don't think we want anyone. Oh, to no. It's a little space dog. <laughs> Creepy science dog. Well, I can- <laughs> Lucas, we're still not in space. <laughs> Oh, I, I, if... no, of course not. We're not in space, we're in America. I love we're not how... on a different planet. I just love how much you love space and like the planets and stuff. Like, it's so interesting. Uh, right. Lucas, it's if you want to do the thing you did last time with the cameras, um, I can turn off my, I can turn our powers back on. That was super oh, cool. Sure. Yes. So I can give it a, a, a try. Uh, that means everyone's powers are going to come back on, though. Uh, if, if, yeah, if that's for the best. Um, do, you, do you, like, need a minute? It's fine. Stares at hands. We can do it. Do this again. I don't really have a limit other than I get tired after a couple hours. Yeah, no, yeah. Um, 
I'll take my shoes off and put them in my jazz board. <laughs> All right. Clap on. And the uh, powers, uh, uh, she, or Rose drops her uh, sort of miasma field and your uh, powers are returned to you, which causes uh, Gentry to morph back into perennial. Oh, you do that thing with your hair again. <laughs> oh, it's finally they're in like a ponytail now. I have like leaves in a ponytail. Sure. It looks really cool like that. It's just a, a some sort of hair control power. It, it is not unlike mine. I can do some th- things a little bit. Um, I, in, in, in my head, I think like, so like, Okay, so he you know, he obviously has the radical um, shape shifting stuff, but like I feel like that's part of his alien physiology. Part of me kind of thinks that a lot of his other powers are like from this gene or whatever. Like maybe mm-hmm. he's like got infected of it by it by coming to this planet or something like that. So like the density control, maybe I, I would say is a is an Earth based thing that he got that mm-hmm. wasn't beforehand. Um, that's and, cool. So I'm gonna like, so which is a long way of saying like once the powers return, like I think as density goes like like really off, I, I don't think he really realized that it was he was like compensating for it in his head, and um, maybe sinks into the fl- like like the floor like just kind of like like bends underneath him a little bit as he like he it's like super heavy but, or something <laughs> like it. The elevator shows that warning of like wait warning. Yeah, like maybe like yeah, something like the weight like goes like like escalates really fast, and then like and then then he kind of figures it out, something like that. Or if you want to do a GM thing with that, that's fine too. But no, uh, that's fine. I think the elevator starts doing a little doing a little uh, uh, bell sound, a little uh, like it's it's probably like capacity uh, warning. tripped. It's probably tripped some sort of sensor or some sort of fail safe, and now the elevator is probably stuck there until they fix it. Ooh. Just kind of this, this low, this this very faint kind of ringing noise as it's a security alarm. So I'd really like to get out of this elevator, but I don't want to be seen by the cameras, especially like this. Lucas. Um, I can figure something out. Um, well, it's so funny. I know that you want me to like mess with the cameras, but I just like I'm like I'm just gonna wrap around the big tree person <laughs> with like <laughs> with some kind of like like gift wrap or something what? like that. Uh... Like um, I'm trying to think what's better because I feel like I did that last time, so I I'm gonna <sighs> I'm gonna wrap around perennial like I'm Christmas gift wrap all over her. Just this <laughs> her tall form is like completely covered in like what looks like Christmas, Christmas present Christmas wrapping tree. paper. You're a Christmas tree <laughs> with a big bow and everything. Oh, uh, Lucas, personal space. What? Ah, I, no, we're not in space, we're in America. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is great and all, mm-hmm. but the cameras will still see us. Oh, of course the cameras. And they'll I... know that we were here messing around with ah, yes of course i can take care of that and all right all right uh <laughs> alien tech i feel like i'm in t-pose uncomfortably with this gift <laughs> oh my god and it's a i am again. so sorry oh all right so um, much potential i am yeah. so so sorry so what's the deal it does what you want it to but it has an unintended consequence all right yeah. i'm gonna i'm gonna pause it doesn't drop the elevator i'm gonna pocket the unintended consequence right now but uh the <laughs> Uh, what? What? I'm just scared. Uh, but yes. the cameras presumably cease to record what is going on in this hallway, which I assume is what you're going for. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Badger, 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 badger. <laughs> my little, uh, my badger virus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, now you can safely walk down this hallway to the, the hallway was not the part I intended us to get stuck at. Uh, sure. <laughs> sure. You, it never is. It, it never, never is. is. No GM in history has ever thought the, hot, uh, the hallway would be the problem or the door. <laughs> <laughs> there is a door at the end of the hallway. Oh, um, God. We're going to be here for nine hours. Another set of sliding uh, Three doors. Three episodes later. <laughs> that have that automated sensor above it uh, that uh, that all the doors do here, uh, and there is like a key card 
scanner next to it. So are the doors like flush? Or is it two glass doors that go like this? Or is it like a door that goes like this? Uh, no, it's side to side. There's a, it's not glass. Um, it, they look like metal. Um, and, but yeah, there's a seam up the middle. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so Prania will walk over to it and then just be like, do we perhaps to get a key card or something like that? So I can maybe see or something? I don't know if I saw that. Maybe I could. No, but like I've um, seen my dad's stuff enough times, I could probably try to make one. Unless Rose, you can just like teleport us to the other side. Again, I I could try. I don't really uh, like. I don't want to like end up inside a wall or something. Yeah, or a. I don't know what's in there. I could end up inside some sort of vat of goo or. Oh, yeah. so, uh, the famous me, the lots of vats of goo and sorts of <laughs> yeah, that science goo. Yeah, let me just know. try to. I mean, I've seen my dad stuff enough times, and like, I feel like, I mean, Lucas, you super know how stuff works, and Rose, you've stolen mm-hmm. enough stuff to know how stuff works. I think like key cards are magnetic, or what? I feel like I can fake it. So is the puzzle of magnets? Most of them work. I don't know. It, it, of course, that's that's what they they use in the twenty fifties. Of course, they use magnets. That's what we use still. Oh so, my god! Uh, How did I know neither of you were going to help me? It's yeah. like I also have psychic powers. It's a good idea. Uh, it's better than my idea. So go ahead. I'm going to try to psychic construct a key card. Okay. I'm gonna have you uh, use your roll. Use your powers. Eleven. That's a real good That's roll. That's a super good roll. So I think you uh, you focus on it, and um, I think you you think back in, in a very vivid memory to the last time you saw Doctor Ian. Um when they were running the tests on you when you first got your your powers. Um, and you remember, because all the technicians here do and all the, the doctors here do, the, the key card that he wore prominently on his uh, lab coat. Uh, and you see his face and the, the numbers there, almost like a picture burned into your mind of that moment. And uh, as you imagine that uh, in your hand in front of you, that same key card manifests. Um, in your grasp. A thing I never thought I'd say. Thanks, Malcolm. Swipe. Swipe. Um, it goes dee dee dee. And the doors slide open. Hmm. Oh my god, look at all this goo! <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> um, you see it's just like another hallway <laughs> no it's actually it's the lab in front of you um, <laughs> is it covered in goo <laughs> no uh it's a it's it's dark the the light's currently off inside um you see empty animal cages uh strewn throughout the the herb stacked uh on the sides of the room uh you Gross. see a um like a table like a medical table and the Ooh. Uh, center of the room with uh, some light pictures above it. Uh, There are some shelves and cabinets uh, on the far side of the space um, and a a couple of monitors as well. One of them is uh, giving off this just sort of perpetually uh, sort of beeping. Mm -hmm. What are we looking for again? I would like to go to the computers. I don't really know anything i guess uh, i will go to t- see what i can find on the uh computers if uh if you want to take a peek around sure yeah so the doctor that formerly worked down here dr malcolm ian um i guess is like super into kidnapping super powered people now so anything that tells us what he was doing and where he went All right, so Lucas is going to look at the computers 
and the two of you are just sort of rifling through the things. I would like to look at the cages, see if there's any signs of anything being in there recently. Sure. So uh, I'll start with the cages. You uh, kind of go most of them are open. They're no longer locked. Um, and you can see some signs of some animals that were probably in them. And you've probably very in, t- in tune with different types of animal life at this point. Um, and I want to say that with your with your powers, maybe you're able to kind of pick up maybe some of like the pheromones and other like the scents and the, the, the natural elements that are sort of left in there. Um, and there are all sorts of animals that, as far as you can tell, that were, were kept here uh cats and and other uh, small rabbits uh, mice things like that so like a has this area been rats. recently can i tell like are they pheromones like really really faint like there used to be things here a while ago um as far as the animal cages no it, it looks like they probably were cleaned out um a few months back all right well nothing's been in here for a while that's good. Um, Lucas, you go to the computer and um, it's on, and you you kind of hit a button to and the screen lights up, um, and there is a uh, prompt for a password. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna press uh, up on the uh, directional pad and see if like it can like scroll through like things that people have like. Uh, punched in earlier uh, in the terminal. Your smart lock password. Uh, I think I'm imagining this more like a uh, like a Windows 10 password screen than a okay. than like a command prompt. Okay. Um, sure. All right. So. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna try to use alien stuff to to hack this thing. Sure. Use alien tech to hack it. Alien tech, the the Swiss Army knife. Of- yeah, exactly. Um, let's see. Yep, yeah, and and yeah, I'm gonna just do that. I'm gonna roll, and yeah. let's see if I'll actually succeed in this for the first time in my life. I'm gonna laugh. You roll another five. I okay. roll a nine. So uh, on a on a partial success. Okay, it, it just means it, it like I created device that can do something impossible and then it fizzles so okay it, so it doesn't um, want so then yeah so basically i can create like like uh put together a device i'm gonna say like to crack this code and uh, then okay. it, like it burns out after okay so you create some it. sort of uh like code breaking um implement using some of the you kind of rough around through your fanny pack or whatever it is that lucas keeps all this tech in um he's european or ish so i'm imagining a fanny pack oh, yeah. um, so there's three you, of them <laughs> you go uh you, you take that and you, i have multiple fannies <laughs> <laughs> you plug it into the computer and there is this uh i, I think little like maybe maybe this like little uh <laughs> i almost want to say what is like the canadian uh police force i forgot what mounties. The mounties. Mounties. The mounties. there's maybe this like little 8-bit like mounty that appears there like wave the canadian flag for a moment and there's this news like do 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 and then and the the lock screen just sort of fades away that's amazing excellent perfect all right uh so you're in the in the computer's uh systems and can scroll through the the data there uh there is there's a lot here of just very dry sort of research data over spanning probably a decade um most of it's uh, i don't think probably catches your eyes or going through it but there are some recent entries that do uh one of them that is um labeled dayton uh which you know Mm -hmm. is uh, olivia's last name Mm -hmm. uh there are also a few entries after that okay um one of them is labeled uh pyro ah yes of course of course of course um and the last one is labeled pandemonium Mm -hmm. of course of course of course of course um i think i'll just gesture the group and just say like does uh in in use this mean anything to you all 
rustles over. Well, that one's definitely me. Dayton. Is there a printer in here? I don't know. Uh, to a control P. <laughs> I mean, we know Lucas just carries around USB drives, so. Yeah. <laughs> um, we definitely know Pyro. Oh, yes. That's what's her name? I, I, hopefully yeah. I can get a, the apartment fire. a helmet to her at some point. There was a person received. responsible for that? Yeah, I was... It was actually kind of sad, but yeah, it's like a person with fire powers. Not a favorite. I bet. <laughs> Can you just click on the last one? What is that? Pandemonium? Sure. Click, click. All right. Um, there is an uh, audio log entry that is contained in that file. Mm, it's a SoundCloud account. <laughs> <laughs> it's this mixtape. Super cool. <laughs> That's his, uh... <laughs> it's just his... Sort of... <laughs> I was going to say it's his Metallica cover band. <laughs> Can you play it? Do you play it? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. Wait, can we say... Before we play it, can we, like, mouse over it and see how long it is? Because if it's, like, 20 minutes, I'm going to wait. Uh, let's see. I, uh, the size of the file doesn't seem to be that long. It seems to be just about a normal amount that you would have for a uh, live streamed D um, RPG podcast or something. <laughs> um, <laughs> seems pretty reasonable. I think we can listen to it. All right, do it. Click, click. All right. So the next two hours now, uh, the <laughs> the audio <laughs> uh, the audio begins to play. Uh, it's sort of like uh Gosh, brain if you called me on my bluff and you just like <laughs> talked until we had to go <laughs> that'd be amazing there's a, uh, uh there's some background noise of a uh sounds like some cabinets closing and some uh objects rustling around uh, before you hear some footsteps um seem to come closer to the the mic on the computer and you hear the voice and i think uh, as you hear it, there's this sort of chill that runs up your spine. Um, Olivia says, I guess I'm gonna... This will be my last entry here. Dayton's such a pain in the ass. I finally got it. The machine's ready. Um, I'm gonna, well, I'm out of test subjects now, so I, I guess there's only one option left. I will take the next step. I know it. It's going to work. Still missing some pieces though. I think the girl holds the key. But it'll come in time. My hand's shaking. <laughs> well, I guess uh, if it fails, I won't know it then. Damn, that'd be embarrassing. I'm ready. This is where it all begins. And there is a uh, sound of footsteps. And you hear... It's strange. You you hear the, the footsteps move away. You don't hear the sliding of a door, but instead you hear the punching of... Uh, keys of buttons somewhere else in the room and then there is this this unlocking sound uh, and then this heavy shifting of uh, 
seems to be a very large object or door. Um, and then there's a few moments of this uh, this rumbling noise and this this whirring of of, of servos and 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 um, some sort of engine in the background. It's really fading. It gets really grainy and then staticky, and then it cuts. Oh crap! Why? Why? Why crap? He's talking about me. Well, whatever he did, it worked because someone had to be able to save the file with the recording, right? Yeah. Not necessarily. I just think, uh, I mean, there's a way a lot of uh, applications work nowadays. Sometimes they uh, auto save or something like that. But uh, is is there another door in this room? Well, the sound we heard wasn't the door we came in. So, is there another door in this room? It's like a secret door, like the sound uh, of something being shifted back and forth repeatedly. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, there, there is another door in this room, but there, the other, the wall on the far side of the room from this computer is bare. Oh you my don't god! Say. Secret passage. I'm gonna go over to there. Um, you feel See around if I can the wall. Find a seam. You feel around the wall. Um, and I think your your hand hits a part where there is a like a loose paneling uh, and you push it and it flips around um, and there is a uh, uh, like a like a lever or a I guess yeah a lever I think is the best way to describe it um sh- should I do it do it all right <laughs> I do the thing all right you pull the lever as you do Crunk. You take a step oh, back mama. as the wall itself slides out and then rotates. Um, and as the wall rotates, um, you see the other side of it is not smooth and there's an actually like an object embedded in it. You see about a six foot tall cylinder, um, like sterling silver at a slight incline. Next to it, there are a couple of like uh, canisters, tanks with tubing that runs up towards the cylinder, kind of embedded into it. The cylinder itself has a set of doors that are currently open, uh, revealing a uh, sort of like a seat inside of it, big enough to fit an adult male. However, the cylinder is, uh, or the the apparatus itself, is discolored um blackened in parts uh it has the the monitors on it are cracked and broken and one of the gas canisters is ruptured um it looks like whatever happened to this object or whatever test experiment was run with this caused it to uh malfunction oh crap or maybe he didn't survive and as you see this object, I think, uh, Olivia, you feel that same chill run up your spine, but at the same time, you feel the powers within yourself sort of overwhelm you for a moment. This, this sense of foreboding, this, this dread that overcomes you. And there is a flash as you watch the same sort of glistening that, that sparkling, that, that comes off of uh, Olivia when she creates the psychic construct um, you see that sort of explode out from her and almost overlapping the room around you you see another room form um, it's almost identical to this one uh, except cleaner well lit you see the same tables cages this time the cages have creatures in them um, strange creatures like half bred uh 
animals that you've uh, that almost look familiar to you. Something, uh, one that looks like some kind of cross between a wolf and a and a cat. Uh, another one with uh, that seems to be almost amorphous with multiple spines coming off of it. Um, there is a table at the center of the room um, with a person lying on it, unconscious. Um, you recognize her. Uh, it is uh, Pyro. And walking uh, in front or around the table, you see a tall man with tan skin, uh, black hair sort of curled, uh, cut close on the sides and uh, uh, a little bit longer up top, uh, a few strands down in his face. Um, he wears a set of thick black glasses, um, broad shoulders, thin but muscular. You don't see his face um, as he looks across the room to a set of monitors, uh, large monitors covering the entire span of the of the wall. And on the monitors, you see depicted a number of photos, blurry photos, photos of you. You see photos of the Raffle Snob Squad or the Vigilantines, um, blurry images from the uh, the monsters and the, the other uh, supers that you fought, uh, the bank, T-Rex, Pyro. You see uh, one very clear photo, high resolution photo of Olivia uh, towards the center. And you, uh, and on, on one side, there's a monitor display that uh, is currently reporting a live uh, or uh, some sort of broadcast feed. And you see Carmen Dakota uh, currently reporting, um, currently at the, um, you see the report that was run uh, shortly after your run-in with uh, the, the T-Rex and uh, discussing the the Raffle Stomp Squad. And you see an image and, and stills and, and video clips of your uh, fight against this creature. And as you see a uh, shot of Fantasia using her psychic construct to create um, a helicopter in the air. Was the helicopter you created? Yeah, a helicopter in the a air. A super sparkly one. Yeah. The image pauses. You see Dr. Ian turn. He looks back towards the table. And he takes off his glasses and he says, Excellent. Time to go. And the image fades away. Oh, crap. Should we take a picture of this machine here? You can show your father. Can we download that? Can we? Can we download all of this? Save it, keep it, take it with us, anything. Pop it, lock it, poke it. Lucas, off. you're the expert. <laughs> uh, of course I am the expert. <laughs> yes. Do you <laughs> have your USB drive? Of course. I, ne I never leave my the home where I live without it. Cool. Yeah, so what a creep, <laughs> right? Uh, yeah. yes, very right. Yeah, so my suspicions are confirmed, so I guess I can share them with you guys. Um, that guy was like super one of the um, scientists on the team that like was helping cure my illness, aka gave me powers, and pretty sure he also wants to have powers. I got that vibe. Yeah. This is really bad. Uh, 
we should probably get going, right? Yeah, like 10 All minutes right. ago. Is there anything else in this room? Like, are there side doors to other, like, closets, other facilities? Uh, no, it's just this laboratory. Okay. Rose snaps the picture of the the tube. We gotta tell my dad. All right. Well, uh, let's go then. Um, and uh, you all head towards the elevators. Oh no, it's the elevators are not working. <laughs> oh, it's broke it. Get the elevators to work. Uh, oh, gonna... I was gonna say I'll just turn into some ivy and look like clone yeah, we'll... or something. Can we just teleport up to the floor we're supposed to uh, be on? Sink uh, the uh, the Earth God that the, <laughs> the elevators are working again. Specify the yeah. Earth. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, you uh, and you head up to report your findings to your father, and that's where we're In gonna the go. Elevator, ahead and... I'm probably like, please can we. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that because we're going to go in and call the session there for Yay. today. Um, we'll, so that'll all happen off camera. Um, we'll talk about the, the fallout from that and in our next session that I run uh, as we have other clues to follow <laughs> in uh, next time. Uh, well done, everyone. Yay! Uh, let's go ahead and do our end of session stiff. I get so, to mark a potential. You do because you're uh, uh, pursuing your nemesis. For what is it called? You're, yeah. You have a uh, special for day. making progress on defeating my nemesis. That is very what impressive. A, I don't get closer to death this time. Hey, hey. look yep. at you staying alive and everything. I'm doing so great. Let me move to some uh, less dramatic music. Whew, that and beeping monitor. I was like, right? Deep. Deep. I figured that would add some tension to it. It sure did. Deep. Uh, all right, Deep. let's do. All right. Um, at the end of our session, choose one. So you all get to choose one of these lovely moves. Um, I'm just going to oh, start with uh, Olivia. Ah. Uh. Okay, I am going to. Uh, I'm gonna choose grow into your own image of yourself, which I think is sort of relevant in this seeing her history kind of play itself out in front of her eyes. So I get to shift one label up and another one down. Um, so I'm going to. Oh, jeez. Um, I'm gonna shift my savior down and my superior up one. Okay. Because All right. my superior is what I use the most. Yeah. This time. All right. So, uh, Lucas. Um. I don't know that I have an end of the session thing. Oh, it's just the normal. Um, it the, it the is move. in the peripheral moves. No surprise. Yeah, at the end of your session, you can choose one. Start it closer session. as a team, huh? I said it's in the peripheral moves under right, start and end of session. Oh, uh, okay. Grow Sorry. closer to the team. Grow into um, your own image of yourself, or grow away from the team. So you pick one. Um, gosh, it's always hard with him because, like, his image of himself, he always feels like he's growing closer, but, like, I I personally feel like he's always getting further and further away. <laughs> um, so... Uh, did he feel welcome? It's funny to see yourself and why. Um... I don't, hmm, I always have, I, I'm thinking too much about this. I shouldn't be thinking that hard about this. Uh, I guess I'll say grow into the image of uh, himself. Okay. I'll say that. So I got to shift one label up and one down. We're, we'll say, I, I, I guess I'll say he shifts up in mundane, even though he doesn't really. <laughs> He's feeling like he's becoming more normal. He feel. I mean, this is like, and I'll, 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 
I'm pushed down freak, even though I don't know that Lanera supports that, but like I'll trade freak for mundane just because in his okay. own mind, that's what he thinks he's doing. Yeah, I mean, that's what's that's what it is like growing into your image, not necessarily what other people are thinking. Okay, of you. Um, okay. and then uh, Lindsay or perennial. Um, I'm gonna grow closer to the team <laughs> geographically <makes> and <laughs> narrative. <laughs> <laughs> um, so pretty much everyone did a pretty good job making Prania feel welcome, but I'm going to give influence to Mutabue mm. because he specifically like could not see a difference. <laughs> and that was pretty meaningful to Perennial. All right. So, uh, everyone tally up your potential, take a deep breath. <gasps> Exhale. Inhale Improvement. Again. Yeah. Or whatever um, it's called so in this game. That's going to be... Advancement. The, yeah. That'll be the end of the session here today. Uh, we will be back two weeks from the date to uh, continue our adventure with uh, Ryan at the helm. Um and so on and so forth. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the session, we have our brand new campaign, uh, Lords of Misrule, that is beginning on Saturday at 3 Eastern time. Come check that out. It's going to be great. Looking Very much looking forward to running this game. Uh, and I think we have... It's Wild Space next Monday or the Monday after? Uh, it's not going to be a Monday. It's actually going to be a week after today. Oh, that's Thursday. right. That's good to mention. Yeah, so Wild Space will not be next Monday. We will instead be running it next Thursday uh, starting at 8 o'clock Eastern time. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yes. All right. And otherwise, business as usual, check out our uh, Twitter for our promo for Lords of Misrule. We will also be running a uh, contest like we did for Tidefall um, that will debut tomorrow. So uh, keep an eye out for that. You have a chance to win some XP and a uh, shout out from us for being so cool. Uh, and all of our character teaser tweets. The last yes. of which is going to go up shortly. Check out yep. the thread. Yep, you can get an, a glimpse at all of the characters uh, before you get to guess which player is going to be playing which character. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. All right. And I think that's it. Thank you, everyone out there, for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And we will see you next time. And until then, good game and good night, Internet. Good, good night, night internet. internet. Yeah. You're, like, super cool. <laughs> yeah, you're okay.